You know, that small text thing is going to annoy me more than you might think. Why? Why is it doing that all of a sudden? That's so stupid. Let me check one thing here, folks. Welcome back, everybody. How we doing? How we doing? Let me just see if uh, I can maybe reset the chat box. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's going down, everybody? What's going down? Let's see. Maybe I can refresh some things here just by loading it up again. <clears throat> yeah, that's so weird because it's doing. No, it's still doing it. Hmm. It's doing it right, like, I guess I could do that, couldn't I? <laughs> I guess I could do that and just drop it beneath it and see if that even shows up anymore. What does the small text say? No, it's just repeating. I guess I could do that, couldn't I? It doesn't look, I can't see it anymore now, could I? And this, it's the chat messages? Yeah, I mean, it's doing it right. It is actually doing it right. It's just not... Uh, it's oddly repeating the messages, which is really weird. Again, thank you for the follows, everybody. Appreciate it. Interesting. It's even doing it on my stream labels. Huh. It actually is still doing it on the site that would let me reset it. That's weird. That's new. I'm going to reset it again, though, see if that does anything. Nope, it's absolutely still doing it. Okay, then. <laughs> so it looks like we're just going to leave it. We're going to leave the chat box a little bit below like that, okay? Oh, it's going to be cutting off a little bit, but it's okay. Okay, we'll work with it. My goodness gracious. Sorry about that, everybody. All right, let's get started here. Let's get started. Everything else is working great. There's always something, <laughs> right? There is always something. Oh, but now it's on this side, too. Oh, okay, I'm going to have to... <laughs> Move it on that side, too. Mm, what's up, everybody? What's up? Always got to deal with some crap, don't you? All right, let me... Uh, okay, let's drop this down this way. Is that going to work? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. All right, let's hope that works. Let's load up. Um, Same world, everybody. Same world. And it's winter. And uh, I actually have gone. Does anybody need an update? Apparently something does. What? Something I don't need, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, same world. And I have actually gone and given people at the portal things to help them at the beginning because I thought to myself, new people are going to be joining all the time. My goodness, it's going to be annoying for them to join in winter and not have anything. So. <clears throat> all right. Now we're ready to go. Getting some drops. Nice. The Sorcerer's Staff available now. By the way... Wigfrid, Wigfrid, oh no, it is Wigfrid, duh, Wigfrid rework, that's going to be a thing, we should talk about that today. I look energetic today, I am definitely not energetic today. I'm glad though, I'm glad, alright, here we are, oh right, this, huh, oh my gosh, you guys are just unbelievably fast. Uh, hmm, the backpack thing, right, forgot about that, you know what we gotta do, by the way, speaking of backpacks, uh, I know I said I was gonna save these, welcome in everybody, welcome in, but, 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 and you need a rope, don't you, what is it, it's two rope, fine, get two rope here, nice, and, well, I apparently didn't make the other one, fine, do this, do this, and then this, alright, cool, so, let's toss this in here, I'm going to try to get used to this integrated inventory, everybody. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. Part of me likes it. Other part of me is very confused to buy it. Oh, we got somebody dead. Hawkeye's dead. We're going to have to revive you. All right. Deems in. Combat and Marshall is in. Okay. People are in. People are in. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> the backpack looks smaller in the hot bar. I know. I'm just not used to it, you know? Just not used to it. What's up, Star? How you doing? Antlion is your favorite boss? <clears throat> That's surprising. Can I add room for more players? There's already 10 players. That's a lot. I mean, maybe one day I will. So we're going to have to revive you. Hey, by the way, since there are things at the portal, if you wanted to revive yourself at the portal, you have a better means of getting back here now. So that's the thing. Hmm. We're not looking super hot, are we? But I'll take one, two, three, four, five. 
I'm not looking super duper hot. So, with winter, oh, there's only nine days left, but uh, still quite a long time. I was thinking that I want to go down in the caves. <clears throat> I personally, I can't clear my throat today. I personally have not been down there. So, I want to go see, look at that. Just regular cooked potatoes. Oh, oh, so good. So, I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop this. Uh, hmm. Because base building, base building during this time is not the greatest, as we know. Uh, however, I guess I could potentially at least get a storage area located. That's probably not a bad idea, right, everybody? Probably not a bad idea. <clears throat> 20 health? I know it's ridiculous. Potatoes are some of the best things in this game, man. I know we're kind of going with a joke. Where's my pitchfork? I know we're kind of joking about it, but potatoes are really freaking good. Oh, they're so good. How was everybody's weekends, everybody? How's everybody's weekends? How we doing? Oh, gosh, this inventory. Confusing. So if that's the center, right? So it would be these two going down this way. What if we just made... Starting from here... So if we want one, two, three, four, okay, that could maybe work. It's going to be really annoying to do this in, you know what, we're not going to do this in winter. We know that the lag came from the um, global positions, so we'll keep it for now. All right, let's combine this, get this. Hopefully people get the base very easily with some of the equipment that I left for them. But yeah, I want to go down to the caves, as I said, folks. I want to see how our caves are doing. I want to see how our caves are doing. And then, of course, when Klopp shows up, we're bringing him to the Tall Bird Fortress. Nice. That's right there, too. Hello, Emily. How you doing today? Miss Beck, how you doing? You're in the game, but you can't chat for some reason. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, chat seems to be working in-game. What's up, Tef? Love the videos? Well, thank you for watching the videos. By the way, if you're wondering where we've been for stream-wise, yeah, new stuff came out. So, you know. YouTube comes first. So, I got this. How many more we got these? Uh, it's fine. I don't think we have any more living logs, though. Don't think we have any more living logs. Got some armor. How good is this armor? It's fully. Okay. I'm gonna take it. Take it. That and this. Oh, we got tentacle spikes. You know what? I'll take some tentacle spikes with me. They're not going to need that. Fine. All right. So in the morning. <clears throat> geez, I can't clear my throat. In the morning. Do we have a good, good one up there? Guess the one in the swamp. It's the closest one nearby. All right. In the morning, folks, we're going down in the caves just to see what the heck's going on. And yes, it's going to be cold down there. So drink some water. I know, really, I have to. I'm dying already. I haven't talked for a while. Why are farms so useless? They're not useless. They're just expensive. But if you know how to make them inexpensive through getting the resources. Doesn't matter. Why do I have extra inventory? Good question. Maybe people don't know of this new setting. So, <clears throat> if they didn't watch the video, that is. Uh, in the settings, we now have a backpack layout. Integrated or separated? Separated is how it usually looks, like this, which I honestly still might prefer, maybe because I'm just too used to it. But integrated is like it looks like in Council, I believe, or Mobile Don't Starve, when it's down here. It's interesting. It's interesting. I want to try this way, but yeah, I don't know. I might just too, I might be too used to the other way. I really might just be way too used to the other way. Stefana, how you doing? Frog rain. Well, make use of frog rain. Catch them. What's the best way to feed were pigs for manure? Get four monster meat, feed a were pig. <laughs> it's as simple as it sounds. I know it's crazy how easy it is to do. But I'm telling you, it's that easy. Oh, you know what? I'll to take some of these. You know, pumpkins are actually pretty good too. I'm just going, I'm just going on a little short trip is all. That's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna check on some things. If anybody wants to join me, be my guest, I guess. Oh, this is full too. You know what? So I'll leave these back. Do do do. Light bulbs are rotting. We gotta save some of them for sure. Where are our light bulbs actually? In the fridge, yeah. 
Because I'm going to need some for my lantern. Also, do we have a clean sweeper anywhere? If we do, I can't see it for the life of me because this pace is nonsense right now. What is a clean sweeper? It's three in there. Okay, we don't. Because uh, I would like to change my lantern skin, actually. All right, so. Ooh, that's good, though. This is good because then we'll use it to fertilize. In fact, if anybody wants to fertilize what we already have planted in the grass farm, be my guest. Sounds good to me. Someone died already? Didn't notice. I have no idea what's going on in game right now. Just going to say that. So sorry, people who are playing right now. Okay, let's toss in this. Winter is boring. So boring. Especially if you know what you're doing, if I'm honest. So really, I'm just kind of occupying my time. Which way is base from portal? Uh, okay, well, anybody who's new, look at your, open your map right now. Orient your map like this. Where the chests are facing down, that way. Base is right there. I'll leave this open for a second. Why no grass gecko mod? You love them? Uh, I just think they ruin bases. That's all. MG. Like, we're making a big base with some big resource plots. So, I mean, there's like, I don't know, 60, 70 grass right there. So, you know, they're just going to mess it up is all. For me, every season is boring after some time. It depends. Certainly depends. I think winter more so. It's just, especially when we were on such a roll last week. You know what I mean? We were building so much. Base is looking great. We got more plans for everything else. And I won't be down in the case for too long. I do want to see Klops. What's up, Dan? How you doing? Or Danny? How you doing? My base does not have an oasis. You mean you just didn't base in the oasis? Because the desert has to have an oasis somewhere. All right, let's go. I don't even think I've been down once. It's boring until Klops comes. I mean, again, I think it's boring if you know what you're doing. When you hit winter for the first few times of playing the game you're obviously very very concerned about it so you're heightened your senses are heightened you're trying to survive it's tense but once you kind of realize how easy it is <laughs> and once you learn it yeah it's it becomes like man what the heck do i do and then suddenly spring hits and then it's off to the races you know what i mean off to the uh i was gonna say off to the oasis because i saw it in chat off to the races because there's so much to do. Doom Boy, while I agree that it would be nice to have all those reeds, we have 10 people to feed. So getting the Talbert Fortress up and rolling, Talbert Fortress Farm, that is, up and rolling is probably our best option because that is food two and a half days, every two and a half days. So. Someone found the ruins already. Is that person playing right now? Because you know it would be great if you made us a map of the caves. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, because now I got to go running all over the place. But that's okay. That's all right. At least we know we're down here for that. Oh, this course is going to be freezing too. And uh, someone did do the bunnies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piss off game. Someone did do the bunnies. Also, I know you said the night armor last week, too. In my mind, do we really want to give night armor to people on top of dark swords? Sanity drain galore. By the way. Where do the no idea migrate to? Wherever the bloody heck they want. Which can be really annoying. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to look for them today. I don't know. We'll see what we'll do today, folks. I'm kind of just feeling super chill today. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
No idea sometimes feel like they fall off the face of the planet. I'm not even kidding. All right, I am going to have to chop some of these because I don't have any wood. Bump jump kid. Nice. Bumper jumper. Is that where that comes from? Bumper jumper? Which is one of the best settings in Halo ever. Anyone who plays Walter in the server? I'm sure we had a Walter at some point. I don't know if we have a Walter now. We don't. We have, oh my gosh, we got three Wendy's. <laughs> we got three Wendy's. Three Abigails, three Wendy's. Holy moly, we'd be able to melt every boss in the game. Melt every boss in the game. Can Walter get sanity from the cistern? His his only thing is he can't get sanity from wearing clothing. The cistern isn't clothing the last time I checked. So. Unless they change them. But I doubt it. Walter was one of the first in a while. That they released and then didn't touch afterwards. Be that as it may. Could very well just be that they didn't have the time. Because let's remember there's a worldwide pandemic going on. Holy moly, that's Stefana. Thank you very much. Can I do a guide on how to solo the Fuel Weaver? Maybe. Maybe. Thank you very much, Stefana, for the $2 donation. Appreciate it. Scared the crap out of me. But I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> uh... Did they? I actually haven't even confirmed. I heard through the grapevine that they've either intentionally or unintentionally patched the idea that you can stay on the edge of, um, what am I hearing right now? Hutch! Did someone say that they found Hutch last time? <laughs> because, holy moly, it's our boy, everybody. Okay, Hutch is just here. Sure, why not? You want to go on an adventure with me, my friend? Okay. I I was not anticipating running into Hutch. You found Hutch? Okay, gotcha. Hutch, my boy. Let's go. Uh, Hey, from... Hawkeye, from where you left Hutch, where's the ruins, my dude? Because there's a swamp nearby. What do I expect in the Wickford rework? I... I don't know. Complete honesty, this one is gonna be... That was a week ago. Fair point. Don't worry, I'm just running around anyway. Uh, this one's gonna be... Their most polarizing one yet. No matter how it goes. Unless they somehow nail it. But even then, I don't know how they nail it without literally changing nothing about her, okay? Like, it's very strange to me that they chose Wigfrid to be the next one. Like, it was going to come eventually. I get it. I get it. Just, I don't know. I really don't know. We'll have a video talking about it, probably speculating. Because i got to kind of form my thoughts a little more on the whole uh, situation. But initial thoughts, and even now it being many days later, I don't know. I don't know. Because so many people play her. She is one of the most... Thank you very much for the biddies, Blake. Appreciate it. She is one of the most played characters in the entire franchise. If you could believe that. So, imagine... What would happen if you nerf her? <laughs> because, let's be real, how she stands now is totally fine. So, mm, it's like, do you take away or do you give? And if you give, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's tough. Thank you very much, Blake. Welcome in, buddy. How you doing? <clears throat> like, I have a feeling that maybe they can pull stuff from the forge now. I don't know. Because Wigfrid in the Forge is able to do like a battle cry and give everybody a buff. If they really want to go that route, I wouldn't be against that. 
This is not gonna be anything. This is just gonna be a toadstool area. Okay. Hmm. Hey, it looks like we're getting some good uh, Mac Tusk drops up there, everybody. As I'm just down here. Getting freezing. I, I don't think Wig needs a rework. But again, they said many, many months ago that every character was getting one. So this was inevitable. It was inevitable. I don't know. New armor? A new weapon? Because... I just ran in the circle because I'm talking to you. Uh, uh, cause here's what they've been going off of. If you haven't noticed, survivors have been in the constant for a long time now. And with the moon growing its strength, the survivors are also gaining new abilities. So how does that translate to a character that is literally dedicated only to stand there and deliver and fight? Yeah. I don't know. I got to think. I gotta think about that one. I I thought I would have put money down that Weber was gonna be next. For sure. For sure. When I'm gonna make a tropical experience server? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I took a week off from streaming. So, you know, the training wheels are still on, in my opinion. That's not going to lead anywhere. This is going to go this way. A present for doing nothing but running around. <laughs> Literally have done nothing but just running around in the caves. This is what happens in winter, though, man. This is what happens in winter. It's also day 29, so I should be leaving soon because I want to get up there for clops. <clears throat> Unfortunately, folks, unfortunately, we have to probably anticipate a little bit of a nerf coming for some of these god tier characters, including one of my favorites. She is literally the most OP character in this game for one reason, her books. <laughs> she can just unbelievably destroy the resource gathering process of this game. Um, her, WX, Wigfrid, Wolfgang. Them. They're probably going to get a little bit of a nerf. I'm sorry to say it, but... Do I know there's another one that adds? Yeah, I do know. I hear it crashes, though, when you pick seaweed or something. And, uh, well, don't really want to go through the game crashing all the time. How often do I stream? Well, now that the new stuff is over... Gosh darn, this is some terrible world gen. Now that the, um... New stuff is over. Stream should be back consistently to three times a week. <clears throat> but this week, since I'm not really sure what I want to do on Thursday, and since I missed some days last week, maybe I'll stream on Thursday as well. But no promises. That's why it's good to be in the Discord or pay attention on the YouTube where I announce these things. I don't like this world, Jan, everybody. By the way, I found Toadstool. The real Toadstool. Interesting. This is a big old Dolstool arena, I can give you that. Alright, maybe it is more that. Piss off, hands. Where are you? At least you come from the same direction. There we go. Will I do more shipwreck Saturdays? Probably. At some point, I would imagine I will, yes. Ultimate snack, man. 25 health and 20 hunger. Oh, oh. If anything needs a nerf, it's potatoes. <laughs> no, don't nerf potatoes, actually. Don't nerf potatoes. Emerald, are you playing Don't Starve Together? You might not be playing Don't Starve Together. All right, everybody, that was an absolutely worthless trip. Look at how much I discovered in that time, and I didn't even find anywhere or any place I wanted to go. Great, beautiful, fantastic. <laughs> so stupid. 
Oh, so stupid. What if they made Wickford immune to damage? Pfft. Do, 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 do. Time to head home already. We'll be back, though. <clears throat> we'll be back. Oh my gosh, why are we getting this many drops that we're re rolling every six seconds? I had Dragonfly spawn in the Oasis Pond. Uh, wow, that's a world gen. I don't think I've ever seen the the lake and Dragonfly Arena spawn so close to each other. I'm sorry, Hutch. We reunited and I gotta leave you again. But I'll be back, friend. I'll be back. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can put tentacles around Toadstool from Wickerbottom's books. Easy piece of cake. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's the most viable strategy because it's also very dangerous for you because the tentacle spawns are random. So, you might spawn some that are really close to where you need to chop the trees for when his, uh, you know, uh, level up phase begins. That could be bad. So, I wouldn't really recommend that. But, hey. Hey, Voigua, or Voijua. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. What's up, Cheeky? I right, developer's graveyard down in the caves. What a waste. Can you do anything with it down there? Not really. Not really, unfortunately. End is nigh you. Do we even have an end is nigh book? You're gonna make you're gonna let me make it for you. Fine. Alright. Let me... We definitely need to get this storage up. Uh, let's head over here. Get the away from base. By the way, I don't know what flashing I have on, so uh, for anybody who is sensitive to flashing, please look away. Please look away. All right. I am shocked that none of those hit me. There we go. <laughs> I was shocked. That none of them had hit me. Whoops, I didn't really mean to do it again, gonna be honest. I'm doing all right, Dave, I'm doing all right. Didn't mean to read it again. Didn't mean to read it again, but it's fine. Okay, so we got WX up and rolling. What's going on in here? Interesting. All right then, we'll leave some of those. Klops should maybe hopefully come. He can come tonight if he wants, that'd be great. I'd appreciate that, Clops. Get you out of the way. I want Spring to be here so bad, everybody. I want Spring to be here so bad. I am in a chill base building mood again. I want to finish base. I want to build some farms. I want to do all that nonsense. And holy crap, we need a storage area like yesterday. <laughs> so, okay. Here's what we should do, everybody. We should dedicate time to chopping trees. We're going to need a lot of wood for a lot of chests. Do, 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 do. Who said that? Phoenix? Phoenix here. We need to, uh, we need to go chopping. Where'd my thermal stone go? Oh, it's right there. Come fuzzled. Hey, Tripley. They're useful. That's all that matters, friend. All right, Bump Jump, get your sleep. Yes, sleep is more important than watching me. It's the same exact, Blake. It's pretty much the same exact way. Uh, by the way, why are these trees burnt? I noticed this earlier... And I said something in my head, but I didn't say it out loud because <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure. Want to kill Claws? You know where the sack is? Do we have... Do we know where the key are? Do we have keys? Do we have anything? Also, I don't think we're in a place to kill Claws right now. I don't even know if people are 
in base yet, if they even know where base is yet. Next winter for sure. Next winter we will. Uh, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Gosh. Garbage. All this garbage on the ground. Um, I did not mean to drop that one, by the way. Mm. Once spring hits... Once spring hits, got some stuff to do. I'm doing all right, rogue rogue How are you? How are you? Is it a bad idea to join from Europe? Some people are totally fine, Hannah. Oh, clops, 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 clops. Get out of base. Get out of base. Clops is coming. Told you you can come tonight. Told you you'd come tonight. <clears throat> Run towards the Talbert Fortress, by the way. What's up, Lena? How you doing? I'm an idiot, and I ran the wrong way. Tallbird? Yeah, Tallbird. How do I know Klaus, by the way? Breathing. Gotta listen. Okay, we got the majority of people over here already, which is great. Let's build this here and give them a little bit of an attraction. Uh, give them a little bit of more of an... He, yeah, he's here. Good. I hear him stopping. Um, where are you, my friend? Where are you? I hear you. And the screen's shaking. Hello. Clops. <laughs> I literally saw the screen shaking. Uh... There he is. Hello, friend. All right, sweet. Now that we have his attention, we don't need all of us to be around because that's where things go bad. Is when multiple people try to draw the aggro. Yeah, that's not good. That's when things go wrong. So, I'm just going to let Jarn do it. That should be Jarn, right? Yeah, it's Jarn. But, everybody, this is how it begins. This is how we use uh, Big Bats to clear some stuff for us. Nice. So, we got the hit in. You got the hit in. Good, good, good. And then, as long as you get him pretty darn close, the rest of the tall bird should just aggro on him. But sometimes you kind of have to force a hit out. Make sure you hit him. Nice. Nice. So, just, some, just imagine some killing. I don't know if you can even see. Yeah, it's kind of not great out. I'm just trying not to waste my lantern here. But I guess I got light bulbs anyway. Just like that, folks. Just like that. And the good reason to use Clops against the tall bird is that he doesn't actually eat the stuff. He doesn't eat the stuff. All right, he's coming for me. Good. Also, good way to use Clops. Uh, get him to bust the rocks. Get him to bust the rocks for us. Ow, that hit me? Screw you, game. All right, big hit. Nice. Big hit. And then get these guys looping around. Oh, gosh, Wendy, or Abigail, I mean, is in the middle of everything. Come on. Come on. All right. This is where things get pretty dangerous, though. Got to be careful, because you got to get them close enough for them to get hit, which means you might get uh, bonked by them and... Hit by Klops, which is never good. Never good. Come on. Oh, that's going to hurt. Never mind. See, things like that. What's up, Ninja? How you doing? I'm hanging in. I'm hanging in. Uh-oh. She's going to die. Never mind. He's doing very well, actually. He's doing very well. He might be able to kill them all for us. And then still be able to get over here. And then still be able to clear some of these rocks. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beaut. Alright. These other ones are stuck, though, annoyingly. Man, that tall bird is not waking up. What the frick? <laughs> that tall bird was not waking up at all. Who do I think should get the next rework? 
Weber. Weber should have gotten the last rework. He should have gotten this one. Uh oh, watch it, watch it. He's not aggroed on me anymore. Yeah, good hit, good hit. Yeah, I know, right? You saw that too? Awesome. I'm surprised that Tallbird was not waking up. That was impressive. All right, this was a beautiful Tallbird clear, by the way. So much so that he's just so <laughs> distracted right now. We can just do this while all this chaos is happening around us. Beautiful. Beautiful. And to have this up before spring hits too, that's going to be very helpful. That's going to be helpful. The last tall bird, Agronon to him. Beautiful. Well done. But now we do need wood. While we have all the rocks in the world to make the walls that we need, our next order of business is uh, the wood. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this here. I know I made another one that was kind of close by as well, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez Louise, man. But there we go, everybody. Klops is dead. Klops is dead. Talbert Fortress pretty much clear. Yeah, we'll roll in a second. So we got some wood. Oh my gosh, Jarn rolled a 90. Holy moly, Dave and Phoenix. Dave and Phoenix, you're going to have to roll again. You guys tied. Unless I roll something higher. Nope, we got a 40 because I suck. All right, Dave and Phoenix, you guys are going to have to roll again. You guys tied. That's crazy. To equip the beard? Oh, yeah. Not to be whatever. I'm going to be calling some people out here. <laughs> I can't believe there's people who don't know that the beards are not equippable. They correspond to the specific skins. You can't just equip beards at will. I can't believe there's people who don't know that, but it's fine. Oh, boy. And so many comments. So many comments. Like, how do you equip the beard? And I'm just like, ugh, you don't. Who got the last rework? Who was the last rework? I don't even remember. Oh, Wendy. Wendy was the last rework. <clears throat> yeah, we need wall central, then we need uh, door central. Yes, Blake. Yes, yes, yes. Like, the Mad Scientist beard corresponds to Wilson's Mad Scientist skin. That's how that works. Man, I keep running the wrong direction today. What am I doing with my life? Who was the first rework? Winona. Winona was the very first rework. A long time ago. Very long time ago. Hmm. Oh, sweet. These will help. And I still think Winona's rework is one of the best they've done. If you want to know who the best rework is, Willow. Willow had by far the best rework ever. In this beard's opinion. Because her rework kept her as is, pretty much. Added to her. <clears throat> and kept to theme. For Pete's sake. Kept the theme. Theme's important. We need more theme. Also, yes, her cinematic was also very good. And very scary. It makes me very afraid of Willow. Did I already make doors? Right. Duh. Boards. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
How long do tall birds take to respawn? Two days. The half day thing that I always reference, give or take, half day, is for their eggs to hatch. Or for them to lay their eggs, is what I should be saying. Very fast. Tall birds respawn very fast. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Well, we got nine doors. And I'm going to leave them to the side of base here. There's the wood gates. We're going to need more. Going to need more. Unfortunately, man, our tree situation. Not great. So I'm going to have to go down to the forest, huh? Unless we have some wood hiding somewhere that I don't know about. Hmm. All right, let's go. We need to chop some wood, folks. We need to chop wood. Actually, hold up. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to rip my own throat out. Yeah, Phoenix, I, I built stuff out of it already. I already used it all. Thanks, Dave. Wood gates are very wood expensive. Very wood expensive. That definitely is handy. But yeah, we definitely need to go... Hmm. <sighs> you know what? I might be able to pull some stuff off of here. Let's go see, actually. <clears throat> if you don't have a Tallbird Fortress, can you make one by hatching Tallbird eggs? No, actually, you cannot. That is a common misconception. Um, hatched Tallbirds do not make their own nests. At least not yet. Maybe some quality of life updates will add something like that. I doubt it. But as of right now, hatched tall birds only grow up to try and murder you. Literally. That is their sole purpose in life. Hello, Mac. Tusk. Tusk. All right, I'm going to need you. I got to get as much wood out of here as I can, man. What's up, Scary Billy? How you doing? Good to see you. Mini Astroneer series? You know, I've been playing Astroneer lately. You know, on uh, what little time I have off. I just decided to play something new. Something that I've had for a while. That I've known people have said were pretty good. So I started playing Astroneer. I can dig it. I feel like I'm already... I feel like I already beat it, though. I don't know. Maybe it's just my survival games experience. But it didn't take me long to realize that, holy crap, once you get the um, the soil centrifuge, like, the game is totally different. <laughs> it, it's like, I feel like I'm cheating when I use the soil centrifuge. You know what I mean? Crazy. What's up, CJ? Awesome. How you doing? How do you join the server? Well, it's exclamation point join to get the info. And if there's spots open, that's how you join. I don't have unlimited cap space. That would be insane. Have I played Fall Guys yet? No, I have not played Fall Guys yet. I'm kind of waiting to hear when they're going to add more mini games. So, Soil Centrifuge OP. I know, and it's so easy to make, too. I was shocked. You know, at first, I had no idea what anything was. So, when I saw Soil Centrifuge, I'm like, uh, okay. I also, for a while, didn't know how to get regular soil until I realized, oh, wait a minute. These small canister things that I was able to make immediately are how I get soil. And then once I figured that out and I saw for the first time they can get like eight resin for like a minute of work without having to run around and find it, I just felt like a totally different game for Pete's sake. It's very fun. Don't get me wrong. Like yesterday, I built a large rover i invested into the largest rover in the game so now i'm just driving around this massive rover 
and uh, getting all the research things because you know that that to me seems like the end game for me right now. Like just trying to get as many resource things as I can, many bites as I can. Oh, frick me. Um, I am having a little bit of a problem here, everybody. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. How's my sister? She's better now. Thank you. Yes. It's a little bit nippy out there, ain't it? Am I going to make a banger base? Absolutely. We're working on it right now. And then pretty soon we're going to be extending this way. These plots have spots. Like we're going to be making um, storage. Storage beneath the base. That's going to be where our trees are. That's going to be where our farms are. That's where the wormwood thing is. And we're going to put a pig farm there. Then, of course, we got to have a marble farm that way. Yeah, we got plenty of space and plenty more to build. So. I got to finish Hollow Knight. Maybe I'll finish Hollow Knight on stream or something. I don't know. Like I said earlier, the training wheels are kind of still on, folks, for the stream. Especially because it took a week off out of nowhere. I had a feeling last Monday, or Monday, last Tuesday when we streamed, that Thursday was going to release the new content. So, you know, with a new update, the cycle is usually the same if you haven't noticed. Update video, skins video... And then anything else related to the update, if I can squeeze something else out. That's how it goes. Also, I'm so stupid, I have a freaking beefalo hat. Um, usually how it goes. This update was a quality of life update. So it was really just update video, skins video. But at that point, it was ready past the weekend, so... We are just murdering. Absolutely just murdering everything, aren't we? Uh, is this my job? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. I mean... I don't consider it... As much of a job as I used to back in the day. But, sure. I'll call it that. I'll call it that. AJ Weber, do you support on Patreon? There's no there's no Twitch wall of thanks right now. Nice. Thank you very much. Should be enough wood. Now we don't have enough grass. She's riled up right now, by the way. That's why you can't stay near her. Get wrecked, mole. Is it possible to get a world without glomer? Unfortunately, it is. It's rare, but it's absolutely possible. Maybe one day, speaking of the Wall of Thanks, maybe one day I'll have a Twitch Wall of Thanks again. This is where it originated. Back in the day when I was only a streamer, uh, you know, <laughs> two years ago at this point, three years ago, really. Um, this is where it originated, the Wall of Thanks. I would put subscribers on there, people who donated, people who did bits, that sort of deal. And I really enjoyed that. I thought it was great to end the stream with showing the people who make the stream possible. I absolutely adore that idea. So maybe I will. Maybe I will one day. But since I am primarily a YouTuber now, with Twitch on the side, the Wall of Thanks evolved into a YouTube thing. Ah, oh, frick hounds. You know what's kind of always bothered me? And I've been thinking about it lately with these quality of life updates. The first Hound Wave, characters say something is coming, right? Right. The subsequent waves, they should know what's coming. But they keep saying the same thing. You know what I mean? Is 
It's just a tiny little thing. It's not that big of a deal. But it's kind of always bothered me like, they know hounds are coming, right? Me, Moose, it's not a natural thing for a glomer not to show up. It's 100% a glitch. A glitch somewhere in the world, Jen. Where are you? You're doing some weird things right now. You know what's really beneficial? That they got stuck in all that webbing. What's not beneficial is now they're not stuck in that webbing. Uh, here's what we're going to do. This is going to be bad, everybody. This is going to be bad. This is going to be real bad. I'm going to start freezing here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I got to have some of you lose aggro. And, of course, none of you are losing aggro. All right. How do I play this? There we go. Aggro on now. Perfect. That should not have hit me, game. Screw you. Okay, here we go. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices like that, everybody. We're good. We're good. He knows puppy sounds. Yeah, I know some of the characters do say that. It's obviously not important whatsoever. Sorry about placing walls. Nice. I'm just getting... Um, we have more than enough wood for the remaining doors. I just need grass to make rope. So, three days left, and then spring is here. When spring hits, folks, that's when the work begins. We gotta replace our saplings. We gotta start building more. Hershey you to see all the loot on the ground. Yeah, I am a player that uh, really doesn't pick up everything, if you haven't noticed. People ask me all the time, like when I'm doing playthroughs, like, why didn't you pick up that Mandrake? Or why didn't you pick up this, that, this? My simple response is, I didn't need it. Now, you might be thinking, well, you will need it later. And then I will say, will I? <laughs> will I? Really? You know? General tips for the game. I'm really bad. Uh, if you're asking general tips, we'll be here literally however long all of my guides are combined. Um, so we got to be a little more specific. Let's break it down. Are you bad at resources? Are resources just kind of not there for you? Are you bad at picking a base location? Those sort of things. Ask those and then we can give you absolutely all the tips in the world there, friend. Oh, whoops, that's one thing. Gosh. Not used to combined inventory? I'm not. I'm trying to get used to it. I'm just not. Give me a couple days. Couple good length of play days. And maybe I will. 15? 15 doors? That might be good. Sometimes you can get more, though. 15 for now? That'll be good. We'll try that. Bad at keeping sanity high and base locations. Okay, if we're talking sanity, what character are you playing? Because that can actually be a pretty big deal. Because I can give you a bunch of sanity things. But then it, if I give you some uh, tips and you're playing somebody like... Who can't use some of these, like Wigfrid. Who can't eat some sanity foods. Then yeah, my advice is kind of not going to work. Why so many doors, Sheep Jeep? That's a great name, by the way. Uh, we're making a tall bird fortress farm. So all the doors are for moments like this, where we can plop a door right there. Boom. 
So we can get in, but the tall birds can't get out. Why do I have bad eyesight? Yeah, I might uh, be a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs at the moment. So that should be all the doors. All right. Hmm. Piss off, hands. Yeah, sure, I'll fight a nightmare, but let's do it over here. Mm. Soup. Calm yourself, Jesus. All right, you're one of those. Gotcha. Hey, tip to anybody playing at home. I always say this because it's a good one. Thermal stone, orange. It's a light source. Use it. Can Chester spawn in not road area, mini swamp area? Of course, Chester can spawn anywhere he wants. I have had Chester spawn in the Oasis Lake area before. Beard stretch in the middle of the night. One and two and three and four. While I'm starving, one and two and three and four. Beard stretch done. <laughs> you made me beard stretch when I'm looking awful. You're trying to kill me there, Rage Quit. Piss off. Got more important things to deal. Two of you. Fine. That works. Everest, how you doing? Hey, if I miss what you guys say, remember, it's always probably better to uh, at me or highlight your message so I can actually see it. Especially when, you know, I'm not always looking at chat. So is it one day until um, spring is here? No, two days. Two days. So, more doors, more gates. All right, I got to make another trip. <laughs> I got to bring John in these gates. Got to bring John in these gates, everybody. School's fine. That's good. That's good. Hopefully, everyone's staying safe. Where do I go to get this? Sh Did he spawn right in front of me and I ran right into him and I wasn't paying attention? Uh, where do I go to get the stream rewards for Don't Starve Together? Where do you go to get them? You go to get them when you get them in-game. But, as long as you're watching a stream, uh, you get them at the intervals that you get them at. The 30 minutes, 2 hours, 6 hours from watching a stream that has drops and enables, which we should have. Jarned, are these the only walls we're able to get right now? I brought back all the doors. So, how many doors we got left? Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oof. Okay. Whoops. Uh. Also, that's another thing I was noticing people. Um, it happens pretty much all the time. They're asking, how do you get the drops? Not only do I say how to get them in the video, I also link. <laughs> I also link. Yeah, yes. I know. I know it's the internet. I, I shouldn't expect a lot, but sometimes I, I, I'm just shocked by the comments that I get. I link two separate websites, telling you, detailing how to get the drops. But oh, it happens, man. It happens. Food, 
food situation is bad, it won't be. Not anymore. Slouchy couch. How's the day so far? It's all right. It feels like more of a Monday today than yesterday did, at least for me. But other than that, I'm doing all right. I'm hanging in. Hope you guys are too. Things are about to kick off though, in a couple days, <laughs> once uh, spring is gone. Or <laughs> once spring is gone. Once winter is gone, I mean. I have to renew emotes every stream? What do you mean? Oh, you mean for the people who are not subscribed, just doing the points thing? Yeah, you don't get to keep them. <laughs> That's not how that works. Or else no one would be a subscriber to anybody. Base is a mess, working on it. Struggle by picking base locations because you need a crock pot to keep her hunger up ASAP. Wig friend. So I always set up a base too quick. Any tips on how to get better? Uh, hunting. Hunting. You can still very much be a nomad as Wigfrid in the early game. Go on hunts. Hunts are your absolute lifeblood as Wigfrid. And if anybody is just looking for a general tip for the early game, be nomadic. Be nomadic. You don't have a base. You don't need to have a base up right away. You should be building base by day 10 to 12. If you're not building base by then, you're probably in trouble. Unless you do know what you're doing. Your main priority is mapping so you know what you're dealing with and getting the resources needed to continue forward. All right, so that'll work. We'll deal with this. These are gonna be needed. My gosh, I'm just going insane every six seconds. Uh, these are gonna be for the storage area. What's the end goal of this stream? Uh, can't say there really is any. Like I said at the beginning and throughout, I'm just kind of feeling chill today. <clears throat> kind of still feeling like getting base up and rolling is the priority. Um, and then when spring hits, spring hits is, uh, this is big time. Spring is big time. That's when we got to bunker down and get resources galore. Our uh, berry bushes are doing fine. We don't have to prioritize that. But we do need to move these twigs to the resource plot. We need to get farms moving in the right direction so we should probably whoever knows where the light bulb biome is we need to get a crap ton of light bulbs again and get a crap ton of manure then we just need i don't know our woody to just get a crap ton of pine cones and just plant them there if we have them great yeah this uh it's about base time baby it's about base time you killed claws I appreciate people joining in and doing things, but come on. This is a joint server. Don't just do everything yourself. That kind of defeats the purpose of having a fun community server. Let's not do that, please. Because it wasn't even on camera. wasn't on stream. Kind of annoying, if I'm honest. I mean, great, you killed Claws, but no one saw it and you did it alone. That's kind of just boring. Super boring. More annoying because that's content that we don't have now. Until next time, but whatever. I mean, Claws is super easy by yourself. Claws is all about moving. As long as you have a able heat source nearby, which he honestly just provides a heat source to you anyway. 
Claws is just about moving. If you can move well, the Claws fight is a joke. But it's fun because it's different. You're not just standing there hitting. You're running around. What's up, Voltaire? Or Voltaire? How you doing? Raven, how you doing? It played DST alone. How many pick friends do you recommend for Yukis? You only need one. Two at best. Because they'll prioritize you getting out of the Yukis mucus. Before fighting anyway. All right, one more day, everybody. One more day. And geez, winter is over. Will this be uploaded to YouTube? Yes, I'll try my best to get every single upload I can to YouTube. Do cactus still grow in winter? Yes, they do. And you might be thinking, holy moly, are you about to waste all these? Nope. We have a Talbert Fortress coming up. Everybody doesn't matter. Finally, we can see the freaking ground. Oh, good to see you, ground. Good to see you. Okay, so... There you are. All right, so we're going this way. Where's all that stuff? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Thank the Lord, everybody. It's over. All right, gimme, 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 gimme. So... Just so I don't mess this up. Hmm. Do I go down that far, actually? That might actually be good. Let's see. Yeah, keeping it close is actually probably a better idea. So let's do it that way. I like that. Let's do it. With Tallbird Fortress, bacon and eggs, or how we call it, best food. I mean, yeah, you're going to be able to make... That's going to be annoying, though. Hold up. If this is actually the center right here. Hmm. This is looking kind of dumb, actually. This is looking kind of dumb. So what if we did it... That could be interesting. Hold up. Light bulb in my brain just went off. Light bulb in my brain just went off. Let's try something like this. Hmm. I mean, it's not going to be super ridiculous crazy, but it will look... No, that's going to... I hate when it does this, the stupid edges. Um... That's going to do like that. That's going to do like this. Fine, fine, fine. No, do I like that now either? Ah. Oh! What do I want, everybody? What do I want? I don't know what I want. Um, hmm. Termin is fun, but a pain in the butt? Agreed. Agreed. Maybe the original idea was the better idea, anyway. Original idea might have been the better idea.
That's decent. I can roll with that. You know what? I'll roll with that. Why not? We need to get these up anyway. We need to get these up anyway. So, now the question becomes, how do we make it look? Piss off, Snow. You just went away. That could work. I like it. Let's do it. Stick with it. Uh... And yes, not all the chests are gonna look like this. We'll do the we can do the clean sweeper and change things. But for right now, I'm just getting layout, everybody. I'm getting layout. All right. Not bad. We'll work with it. We'll work with it, everybody. More white stuff. I know, right? Piss off. No need to build flingos? Nope, nope. No need for flingos. Because we are in the Oasis Desert. Therefore... Hmm. But now on the sides here... I do kind of like the inside more. We'll see about that. For right now, that's what we'll work with. Holy crap, the game is starting to lag for the first time with everything that's on the ground. So we should probably start putting things in there. <laughs> but in the morning, everybody, spring, finally. Oh, my goodness. It's a good idea to make 50 farms during winter so that when spring I've become dragon fruit farmer. If you can manage to make farms during winter and that many without eating up your resources, go right ahead. Go right ahead. What's up, Trent? Beard stretch again. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. <clears throat> we need a lightning rod. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Especially because we have the thing down here, don't we? Uh, I hear skitter squids. Yep, there they are. <laughs> I heard them jump out of the water. Okay, so there's that lightning rod. Good. Uh, there's one right there. Well, let's move it. Piss off, lightning rod. Okay, so piss off, lightning rod. Let's, um... Didn't I pick this up? Okay. You are right. We do need lightning rods in places. That should that one should cover base. This one we'll put up there. Okay, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Gosh darn it. Boring season is over, everybody. Hey, how are we doing on the Talbert Fortress? Thank the Lord, spring is here. How are we doing on the old Talbert Fortress? That should cover both. That should cover, honestly, all of that. Uh, and then this one. Over here. We'll put it... Darn, not going to be able to put it right in the middle. That's going to be annoying. Um, piss off, berry bush. Berry bush. Apparently, I don't know what a berry bush is. Piss off, spiky bush. So, we'll do this. And then we'll do... More skater squids, apparently. Um, that's not going to be centered, and I'm going to be really annoyed. I mean, I can center it that way. That's fine. I meant more so the turf's not going to be centered. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> the turf is not centered with it. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. We'll leave it like that. But spring's here. Spring's here. Time to get rolling, everybody. Time to move. Time to move. All right. We're baiting. Oh, you're absolutely right about that, by the way. 
Piss off, vultures. Yeah, we need to have a chest for these. Ow, I thought I was going to kill you before you hit me. All right, let's... Uh... By the way, I didn't see. How are we doing on the Zalbert Fortress? Because our food situation, yeah, for right now is not good. Where? That's fine. Varg's easy. If we all just dogpile him, he has nothing on us. Half respawned already and we didn't finish it? Yikes. How did we not finish it? We had all the resources in the world, didn't we? Where's, um, is he over here? If three of us just dogpile them, they'll stand no chance. Just put on armor and run up. That's the great thing about Vargs. They're very dangerous alone, but with people, they're nothing. Just get up on him, get up on him, get up on him, get up on him. Yep, because we melt him fast enough for his hounds not to even matter. It's fine, keep hitting, keep hitting, just keep hitting, just keep hitting. Because the longer the Varg stays alive, the more hounds you have to deal with. So if you kill the Varg fast enough, it doesn't matter. Just like that. Boom. Varg dead. Bye-bye. What's a good day to go looking for Moose Goose? Any day. It's good to know where Moose Gooses are. You can know where their potential spawns are, but you'll never know if she's actually there unless you go look. Like that one right there, the fact that I don't know if there's berry bushes there doesn't tell me that that's actually a moose goose, but it could be. In fact, I don't even know if I've even stumbled across a moose goose spawn. So. What's up, Angel? Here I go again, running in the wrong direction. Speaking of pig villages, we got to get a pig farm up, don't we? That's another task that we got to do. And what I was about to do before the Varg uh, situation, I need to dig all these up and replant them. Moose goose and frog rain, so good. Absolutely. Especially because the frogs will melt them. Absolutely melt them. Nope, you can't build land masses. There's no, like, terraforming in this game. Don't have a shovel. And since I'm going to have to do a lot of work, got to do it this way. Make a teeth trap? Oh, good question. I think our teeth trap area should be... Well, unfortunately, it's probably going to have to be all the way to the right side of the desert. Hmm. For right now, I'll probably make it anywhere. Right now, DM, I think where you should make it. South of the Talbert Fortress, pretty much at the entrance of that little grasslands biome. Just put them there for now. Actually, no. Screw that, because we're not going to be building over here yet. Just somewhere on the right-hand side that's not in the middle near the swamp, because that's where I'm going to put the pig farm. So, so somewhere on the right side of the oasis for now. What are those crawling hands coming out of the water? They kind of do look like hands. They're called skitter squids. Some of the better um, mobs that they've added in recent updates. I just heard somebody put on Mongols. Yep, sure did, right there. This is an Animal Crossing. Fair point. You know, I never even got to do any of the terraforming stuff. Do they drop stuff, Trent? Who are you asking about? Oh, the Skitter Squids? They do. They drop monster meat, and they have a chance to drop light bulbs. It's Clay's attempt to make it so that if you can't have world... If you can't have caves in your world, skitter squids are another option for light bulbs. Then again, 
Skitter squids only come out during uh, new moons. So it's kind of pointless. What's my opinion on spending the first few days exploring and mapping out the entire world? I wouldn't map out the entire world. But I have literally no problem with people spending the first days running around, gathering resources, blah, blah, blah. And if you run out of inventory, just go back to the portal. Drop stuff off. You know where the portal is at that point. It's on your map. It's very distinguishable location for you. Go back, drop things off. Continue. Again, I advise that you start building base by day 10 through 12. If you start past 12, you're kind of pushing it because you want to make sure that you have at least one or two days of good resource harvesting, be it grass and twigs. So. That's my reasoning. If we can get one good harvest of grass and twigs in before it's too late, good. How much heat do scaled furnaces provide? Well, so much so that they're easily, it's easily possible for you to uh, overheat in winter. Here comes the rain. Why is Oasis base good? We're using it this time because I knew we were going to be making a bigger base. It's good because the entire biome, yes, the entire biome is smolder free, meaning there is no chance for wildfires at all. Can fire still happen? Yes, but only through player intervention. But the game will not spawn wildfires. So, when you are uh, building a big base, like we are, we don't have to worry about Flingos so much. Now, Flingos can absolutely still help us, because the heat of summer is still going to wither all of our resources, sure. But, we're not going to lose them the fire. We're going to tame Beefalo in this world? Maybe, when we transport the stuff. Sandstorm doesn't bother you during summer? Uh, as long as you have the desert goggles. And we're literally basing in the spot where you get the desert goggles, so it's not that big of a deal, no. Any updated thoughts about Walter? He should have been more themed, but too late now. He's a totally fine character. Never said he wasn't. Just... Wasn't themed very well. How am I doing on this fine day coffee? I'm hanging in. Just chilling. Spring's here. I'm happy about spring. Yeah, it's a good point. You do bring up a point. Where is Antline? I don't know. Can I find out where she is potentially? Absolutely. And maybe I will. Or I could have absolutely already built on her spot. I won't know until I really go looking. Where are we planting trees, Phoenix? Uh, where are you? Phoenix, follow me. I'll show you. I'll show ya. Yeah, not there. Down here. This is our tree. This is going to be our tree plot right here. Right here. Plant them as straight as you can so we can have as many as we can. What's my favorite boss fight? The Shadow Pieces. I'm gonna get rained on. Hey, anybody remember? Never mind, found it. Sammy man. Well, yeah, buddy. Um, back in the day, many months ago, I was streaming pretty consistently. Is that what I wanted to do, everybody? 
I guess it is what I wanted to do. Okay, well, we're all with it. We'll do it. Um, and then, unfortunately, I took a many-month break. Unintentional. A many-month break. But I'm back, so... How many did I do? One, two... I'm going all the way across. I don't need to count. Don't need to count, numbnuts. Turf, though, is going to be annoying to plant, isn't it? Hmm. Should we maybe get this turf in place before we do all of this? Probably. That would be the smart thing to do. <laughs> it would be the smart thing to do. Okay. By the way, we still need more resources. So while we're out and about this spring, everybody, just uh, dig up more saplings, dig up more twigs, even more berry bushes. But hopefully it's the fancy ones. We need the fancy berry bushes. Holy moly. That was lightning and sounded pretty close, actually. We're good, we're good, never mind, we're good. Those lightning rods have a much farther range than you might think. My second favorite boss fight, by the way, is probably Claws. Followed by the Fuel Weaver. And then... Huh. I don't know. I actually don't know who would come after that one. I gotta think about that. By the way, you like how I abandoned the whole turf idea? Yeah. Resources, more important. What's the difference between fancy and not fancy berry bushes? Oh, it's just aesthetic. It's just looks. I'm saying here, I'll show you after I'm done planting these. Um, our berry bush farm is surrounded or looking like this. We got normal, normal berry bushes on the sides and then we got these berry bushes in the middle so i'm just saying we'll fill out that middle with uh those berry bushes that look like that where do extra twigs go we'll make another chest extra for things since we're gonna have a tall bird uh fortress up and rolling i'm just gonna have family for dinner how long have i been playing don't starve together too long since it's released and I've been playing Don't Starve since the alpha days, so. Making content on the game. Several years. Actually, a long time. If you count when I was only streaming, long time. I think I've said this a couple times. Everybody is insane, apparently. Back in base, by the way, everyone. Um, I think I said this at some point, or I've at least mentioned it, um, back when I only streamed, I streamed every single day for like four or five years. I have no idea how I did that. In my brain right now, there's just no way I'd be able to do that. Man, things change, man. Things change. What's the hour count on Don't Starve? And Don't Starve Together is at 1,400, but that doesn't say the whole picture. Don't Starve is at 400, 500, and that also doesn't say the whole picture because I've owned them on different platforms, played them on different services and different uh, whatever. So... Can you use the clean sweeper on the berry bush? No, because it's not a skin. All right, Trent, take it easy. It's not a skin, otherwise, <laughs> you know, I guess so. Hey, you know what? I... This might sound... I don't know, you could take this both ways. And I don't, I don't mean this the way it's going to come out. I don't want this to sound wrong. Uh, and if you guys know me, you know I, you know I don't mean it this way. As a leading person in the Don't Starve 
content creation community. I'm just trying to phrase this right, by the way. Um, I am very casual. For as long as I have played this game, for as much as I know about it, for as much as I've done in it and for it, I, for one, am all about the need of helping others discover the game and enjoy the game. So, with that in mind, when we're talking about all these updates today and everything, I, for one, am an absolute firm believer in the fact that this game could benefit greatly from just more quality of life updates. If quality of life updates were their priority for the next couple months, I would not complain whatsoever. Whatsoever. Because I think the quality of life updates are twofold. They keep us tenured players coming back to see some pretty interesting things in the game that we know way too much about uh, progress. And then the people who are coming into the game again for the first time, a couple times, or maybe returning, can also just eat up more of it, you know? Like the whole quick drop thing. We don't even have the quick drop mod anymore. We can just quick drop. We uh, Things like that. It's just, it's just great. And then to just build off that. I am not an elitist. In the slightest. <laughs> in the slightest. You play your way. And I will not care whatsoever. Because as long as you're enjoying it. That's all that matters. Who cares what some YouTuber thinks. You know what I mean? There we go. Just a little off, off topic rant. It's, it wasn't even a rant. It's more of an exclaim of saying you know what things happen play it's a video game have fun and uh, this video game could benefit from less big stuff less big stuff because here's another thing and this is the last thing I'm gonna say this game is not for us anymore us players who've been playing for so long it's not for us anymore I think people don't understand that anymore either they don't get that. Be it the fact that they're having trouble abandoning the game that they've liked so much, or whatever the case may be. Also, that was not where the teeth traps I thought were going to go, but whatever. All right, back to the game, everybody. <laughs> back to the game. Back to the game. And yes, we got to get these resources up and rolling, everybody. So how you doing, Chad? How you doing? Cookbook is a thing. Is that new? Yeah, it's very new. It just came out with the uh, next or the latest quality of life update that just launched. What was that? Thursday. Only a few days ago. That's also a very good change. Very helpful for beginner players and intermediates. See, things like that, man. Things like that. That's great. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this, folks. I'm feeling pretty good. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. How are we doing on the Talbert Fortress? We still got that Talbert Fortress coming along? Because we got to start farming that sucker for some food. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Did I like the joke? Didn't even see it. Where was it? Uh, AJ. AJ. Where'd you say it, AJ? Here's a little joke for you. Why did the Weber cross the road to save his spiders from pigmen? It needs a punchline. Is there a watch time command? Uh, Maybe? If there is, I don't exactly remember what it is, Misty. Pants. Literally just normal pants. You finished it? Nice. Nice. So that's good. That's good. Whoops. So it will fit, actually. <laughs> just one little train chest in the middle. Hmm. 
All right, so that's coming together. We don't uh, have any of these, but I'll leave these for now. All right, base is looking fine. So, so what's the next order of business, everybody? Oh, right. Next order of business is going to be pig farm, but also seeing if, uh, if antlion... If we can still happen to see the antlion spot. Yeah, that's next order of business for sure. Okay. Hey, what happened to all those pig skins that were over here? Hopefully we didn't use them all. Because we definitely, definitely going to need them. It's going to be nighttime. Not going to be able to tell that. Okay. All right. So, Talbert Fortress is finished off. That means we can farm that every two and a half days. Fine. Still have yet to really see what's going down in the caves. That's okay. I think another thing we got to start doing, though, is just start um, getting these trees in the right spots. Oh, right. The light bulb thing. Right. Oh, tree guardian. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think what we got to do, too, is um, get a crap ton of light bulbs, start getting a crap ton of manure. That'd be good, too. Look at this kiting pattern, Vias. Oh, beautiful. Oh, as I say it. As I say it, someone gets hit. Darn. Darn. That was beautiful. Beautiful kiting pattern by everybody. Is this still the shipwrecked world? No, it is not. Again, thank you very much to all the people who are following the day. Appreciate it. Thank you for some bits. Thank you for a donation. Appreciate it. Thanks to all the people who are just watching, too. Appreciate you guys, too. Uh, here's the thing, though, too. Another reason why maybe I didn't stream when the new update came out. This is going to be totally honest as well. Uh, is because... Lots of streamers see influx of numbers when new drops come out. And that's also when you might have some more difficulty with internet idiots to deal with. And I didn't really want to deal with that. So I just waited till today, to be honest. Waited till today, a couple days later, so that most people would have had their drops ready. So I didn't have to deal with any of the nonsense. Potential nonsense. Let's call it as it is. Potential nonsense. Also, I'm still carrying my thermal stone. All right, so. Die to her, Yukis. Oh, right here. Hello, Yukis. And dead. Good. And did you know that you can unstick your friends, too? Bet you didn't. Yes, you can actually unstick your friends from the Yukis stuff. What's up, Fly? How you doing? I'm your hero. Appreciate it. But if I'm your hero, maybe do some reevaluating. But I appreciate it, friend. How you doing? Ten minutes follower mode or something like that? It happens all the time. Listen. Great. I also don't like the fact that... Uh, what the heck are these chests doing here? Oh, there's wood chest. So we're going to be moving all these trees. That's what we're doing, I feel. I also just don't like the fact to know that those numbers aren't even... I don't want to say it like this, but I think you know what I mean. That those numbers don't matter. That it, it, you're only seeing that many numbers because people want to drop. That to me is no fun. You know what I mean? So if I don't see... Nope, here she is. This is probably her right here. Somewhere. She's right here somewhere. Okay. That's not bad. That just means I maybe have to make the pig farm a little closer than I was anticipating. I have a feeling the antlion is... Somewhere over here. She might be right here. We'll see. We'll see. I'm doing all right, Fly. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. I'm feeling like I'm feeling pretty lazy today too. I don't know. Like I said earlier, it feels more like a Monday today to me. 
You can predict antline spawn? Sure can. Did you see those two little dots? So usually there's three, but it could be that the world generation made the turf a little weird. Chances are that's where she is. Is it guaranteed? Not at all. But, 95% sure that's where she is. At least, hopefully. Hello, Vault Goats. Okay. And the fact that I don't see any more that looks more promising over here means that's either where she is going to be, or we unfortunately already turfed over where she's going to spawn. I guess we'll find out. But... Now the important bit. Also, I probably should have done that first. Right. Gonna need some more inventory. Um, pick farm. So this is our tree area, right? Right. I would like you to go this way. So one, two, three, one, two, three, beautiful. We'll probably go a little bit more out this way. Then we'll make a pig farm. All right, cool. Pig farm is going to be somewhere over here, so let's just drop, 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 drop. And with all these stuff that we got from clearing the Tallbird Fortress, should be able to make a decent wall immediately. Hey, remember, let's smash ourselves our own things, everybody. We got to keep morale up at the base. If people are walking the base and they see themselves some um, skelly tons, it's going to drive them off. Have I even made walls yet? That would be a no. All right, so let's make some walls. Good. Uh, uh, give me some of these. Give me some of these. Will vultures eat the pigskin? I don't think so, actually. I don't think they consider it meat. Not like... Not like even the pigs themselves do. So I just need two doors. So boom and boom. Two doors should be good. Doors are up here. So two doors. Nice. Uh, the rush can go in here. The rest can go in here. Now I just need more walls. So do we have... Huh. Maybe we don't. There's some more over here. There's <laughs> just random walls. Hey, Jarned, do we have extra walls from your base building? By base building, you mean, I, I think you know what I mean. When can we fight Moose Goose? Whenever we want, really. Die your hounds. No. No, I did not. Hmm. They would eat rot. I don't think they would eat the pigskin, though. In fact, yeah, that's actually that's actually something I don't know. I hope not. No, it doesn't look like it. There's a moose goose right beside the portal. Okay, maybe we'll do a moose goose hunt or two before we leave today. I think, again, priority is base, though. We got to keep these people up and rolling. No, I did hear hounds. Yep. We might get fire hounds in this. Be very careful, everybody. Oh, Jarned, if you just came back, you didn't hear me. Do we have extra walls? I would not stay in base right now. I would come to me. Because we might uh, get some firehounds in this. We got grieved. Uh-oh. That's bad. Sorry to hear that, friend. That's never fun. You know, I have never in all my years, never once have I played online uh, servers in this game that weren't mine. Never, ever once have I done that. Unfortunately, I only ever hear bad things about it. 
Which kind of sucks. Gosh, with two Abigails. <laughs> with two Abigails, we don't even have to really do anything. Public servers are the worst. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I get it that every game. This is this is more of a uh, this is more of a testament to the human aspect of things. But every game has a bad community somehow, some way. Even a game like this. But yeah, it kind of sucks, man. Kind of sucks. All right, I don't know what's going on here, but it's kind of confusing me, and I might use it for something else. So what I'm gonna do is do this. What's up, Nick? Cool. Welcome back. Except the forge? I mean, you can easily grieve people in the forge. Just don't do anything. Well, here's the thing about griefers, too. They're just a an extension of internet trolls, correct? Only in this game, these brilliant geniuses who get off on getting people as low as they are sometimes don't realize that there's something called a rollback. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's annoying at first. Then you just roll back and everything they did doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hmm. How far am I going with this? How far am I going with this, everybody? I would like it to be a pretty good walkway because I have plans to what to put in the middle. So you know what? We'll do it like this. We'll do it like this. I wanted to put this in the middle when you're actually walking into... That's pretty close. That's pretty close, I guess. Okay, so if we're doing that... Actually, hold up. You know what I should see? Hmm. Then again... Who's to say people are walking in the base that way? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for the donation from Bogdan. What's up, my dude? Jesus is on the cross and it censored something. Bogdan, we have to have an intervention. <laughs> Why is it censored that word? That's weird. Okay, what's up, Bogdan? How you doing? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. So here's what I'm thinking now. I guess we're going to have two... I hate when Turf does this. Um... Hmm. Maybe we're going to have two entrances to base, everybody. Or, I want to call it two entrances. Two roads just to connect to the rest of base. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. It is true, pizza. I guess you got that. But you can also roll back the next two days. All right, sweet. This is kind of what I had going on in my brain here. So. All right, game, sure. Because that's exactly where I clicked, apparently. Also, now the door looks weird. Oh my gosh, whatever. Um. So if I want to, I want to kind of make this pretty big too. And then again, we're putting this right here. Hold up. Wait a minute. Don't do it like this. That's not a good idea. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Messed up a little bit. <laughs> Messed up a little bit. Don't worry, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Would I do PvP and don't start together? Maybe. With you guys, yes. Alright, Cinnabon, thank you so much for playing. Appreciate it. Take it easy. Oh, you left before I could say it. Darn it. What am I making? I am making towards a pig farm. 
And I started to think to myself, wait a minute, I can't make this right next to the road because I need to put more pig houses near the door. So I need to just extend this a little further up. Not much further up, just a little bit. Just one more up and then we'll be good. Then we can start making it over here. Good. Then plop this down and plop that down. Beautiful. Now we can start actually making what we need to make. So boom, 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 boom. Big enough. Mm. Probably not, but we'll see. We'll see. Arc mine, welcome in, friend. Welcome in. What is the golden thing on the ground? Oh, that's just a torch. Someone's torch. It came from the year of the Karat skin. Or, uh, event, that is. Yeah, this is harvesting season, everybody who's playing. So if you can harvest, harvest. Just do it right away. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Counting with beard, everybody. Counting with beard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I go eight and eight... Let's go 10. And we'll see how that looks. Where's my lantern? Where's my lantern? Where's my lantern? Where's my lantern? Why do I not have the lantern on me, everybody? Where's my lantern? Did I drop it for something? <laughs> I don't have my lantern. My goodness gracious. Almost died. Not good. Lag season? Sometimes. Sometimes it's pretty laggy. Try the new hunting mechanic. That's true. Now that it's spring and it's raining, if you go on a hunt in the Oasis Desert, you can get yourself more vault goats. Beard stretch. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Where'd my lantern go? Don't know. Dropped it at the teeth trap. Good call, friend. Good call. Thank you, Roll. Appreciate it. How am I liking the backpack location? I'm getting used to it already. I can see its advantages for sure. Oof. Fair enough, Fly, fair enough. I mean, it is a very laggy season, yes. I don't know why. I get that it's the rain and it's the extra particles and whatever. But, man, this game has extra particles in a lot of other seasons. Even summer has extra particles, for Pete's sake. So. I can guarantee you where it's going to lag. Thank you, John. You were the MVP. Uh, especially because you did the Talbert Fortress. You know what? As long as I can fit houses, which that should be good enough to fit houses. Let's actually see if it's good enough to fit houses. It is. All right, then. Now that I know that's good enough to fit houses, I'm going to have to go on this hunt anyway because it's in the way. This is going to be a very long pig farm. And you know what? That's going to look pretty cool to me. Starvation. It's been a while since I've seen that one. <laughs> look at those thermal stones. 
Man, this hut is just being straight in his air. Okay. Can't speak. I was so surprised. Being straight in his arrow, everybody. Literally just making me go straight line. Beautiful. Beaut. Oh, also. Let's do this. One for grass, one for twigs, obviously. It's lagging over here because that's a lot of grass. <laughs> it made me go in a straight line all the way to the edge. Then it literally just turned me around. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It literally just made me turn around. That's funny. Okay, we have a slight problem, though. If this does lead to another Vault Goat, it might not be in a good location to have another Vault Goat uh, area. Another Vault Goat herd. You know what I mean? Also, this is a long hunt. It was a Vault Goat, and it got struck by lightning. Okay, we're just going to kill this. We're just going to kill this, everybody. Ow! All oh, right, I don't have any lightning gear. Hey, who has the umbrella? Because if I fight this, it's not going to be good. Okay, literally no one has said that they have their umbrella. Hey, Phoenix, come over by me, buddy. Or can you drop it for a second? Can you drop it for me for a second? Thanks, bud. I'll bring it right back. What? Okay, he's dead now. <laughs> he had zero health. That vote goat did not want to die. Where are you? Here we go, Phoenix. Boom. That vote goat did not want to die. Uh, gosh, our food situation is really bad. We need to we need to um, probably kill those tall birds, everybody. Also, I need to get unwet. Yes, that's a word. Yes, they do. They become automatically hostile. When wet, so or uh, when struck by lightning, so. Whoops, that's not what I meant to make. My bad. How good is a cooked onion? It's terrible. Terrible. Oh, that's good. I'll take some of these. I'm glad we're getting things off the ground in base. We'll organize this. We'll do mini signs down the line. Again, folks, I want this world to last. So, you know, we're not going to do everything every day. Probably not going to clear every boss every time. Uh, yeah, now that it's spring, we'll find a dude, eventually, lure plant. Okay, so what I think what we need to do, what we need to get happening, we need to move these trees. We got to stop planting these trees here because that's not where the trees go. Um, we need to get manure, big time. And we need to start farming these tall birds, big time. Three big things to do. And then just harvesting whenever you can because it's bloody spring. Because I'm working on this. Very slowly but surely. Alright. Oh look everybody. It's the new wall textures. Hmm. 
This is going to be one heck of a long thing. And I'm kind of all about it. I am kind of all about it, everybody. Baby bird get wrecked. Okay, so we are farming the Tolliver Fortress. That means a bunch of meat and a bunch of uh, ace coming our way. That's good. That's good. Problem is, rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Uh, dang. Where is the... um? Do we know where Dragonfly is yet? Because if we found Dragonfly... That means we can get the flintless boulders over there, too. Hmm. Hmm. Whoops. Just trying to get things under control here, everybody. That's all I'm kind of trying to do. We kicked someone, then he joined back. How I think he, his friend was in the game. He can buy bass kicking off of Steam. Well, kick his friend, too. No mercy. Because here's the thing. They did it once, they're going to do it again. There's no second chances on the internet. You don't give people second chances on the internet. Take it from the person who has tried to give people second chances on the internet. Take it easy, friends. Take it easy. Thanks for just chilling today. We'll do some boss killing down the line, folks, but it's not priority right now. Simply not priority. Come on. You went after me. I thought you were going after him. Nice, good, good. Yeah, I like streaming, you know? I feel like I gotta get used to it again, unfortunately. But this week I'll get used to it again. Don't don't you worry, don't you worry. This was a really stupid way to make that. Oh, that was a really stupid way to make that. Someone killed Dragonfly? Yes, they did. That was funny. That was unexpected. But yeah, for right now, let's not kill bosses, the big bads, without everybody else. It's more fun that way. Kind of forgot that the cistern was a thing. Alright, so let's toss these in here. Nice. Man. Man, man, man. So our biggest problem right now is actually rocks. I didn't see. Did someone say we know where Dragonfly is? Should we just keep it like that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 7 more on each side, 14 walls in total. Okay. That's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven. And then one. I gotta finish these sides too. Son of a gun. Yep. So we're gonna need more than that, unfortunately, but that's okay. So boom, boom. This is one hell of a big farm, everybody. 
<laughs> this is one hell of a pig farm. Once this is up and working, holy crap, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a one, a two, a three, a four. Okay. And just for good measure, to mark the entrance. Nice. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Now I need rot. Now I need rot. I'm so sorry if I'm missing things in chat, by the way. You kicked all three? Good. Because screw them. Nice. I'm liking all this stuff that we got. Uh, I saw rot earlier. Somewhere. Unless we use it for something already. Must have used it. You have rot, Phoenix? Where you be, friend? Where you be? I just need, uh, I don't know, 15 or so. 21 will do just fine. Thank you. Put Glomer Group in there. Glomer Group is important. How depleted are the resources at spawn? I have no idea. Haven't checked. Why is everybody insane? I don't know. I was insane at the start been fine now okay so whoops one two three four let's think about this so if there's one here one here one here one here sometimes the um sometimes the pigs do a little done goof when it comes to things so that's why i'm making this more than you absolutely need, trust me. More than you absolutely need. Okay. Go big or go home, everybody. Go big or go home. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, trust me. Okay, so boom. Nice. And then... It begins. And unfortunately, while we do have all the pigskin in the world, kind of used all the extra resources to make everything else. So this is going to be a problem. See, this is where the wood becomes a problem. But that's all right. That's all right. Can you use powder cake as bait? Absolutely can. In fact, we should probably make a powder cake. Can we Can we even make a powder cake? Why can't I place that? Oh, there's a, one tiny little seed in the way. Did I space that right? Yes, I did. Wood's gonna be the, wood's gonna be the limiting factor now, everybody. Okay, hopefully we got some extra wood. So how that works, by the way, yes, I see my hunger as well. How that works, in the morning, the pigs are going to be attracted to the bait, and they'll stay out constantly, even at night. So, the next full moon, which is going to be day 51, mind you, which, who knows, maybe we'll actually get to today. Um, be a good pig farm. Be a nice, good pig farm. Not going to be a pig farm that we can have other things do the work for us. Well, we're going to have to do our own killing, but that's okay. Is that how I've been doing it? I guess so. Just able to squeeze this by, by the way. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beaut. Now we don't have any pigskin. Fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, pigs come out of their houses. Let's see. There we go. Like clockwork, everybody. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
And that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. Oh, I am starving. Eat this. Good to go. Cleared the tall forts. Nice. Next time I'll help you too. Because, yeah, we got to be on top of that with 13 days left. So, pig farm moving in the right direction, everybody. Nice. Oh, now, are there more pigs out there? I know last week I went down into these forests and did a bunch of hammering, but where the heck is the pig king? I, don't, I haven't even mapped anything. Does anybody have a good map of the world? <laughs> we should just make our cartographer's desk and give everybody a map. But I don't know if people have it or not. Will we finish spring today? I don't know. Last week, last week, Monday, I kind of lost track of time a little bit. Streamed for a long time. I don't know about today. Today's kind of chill, very quiet. Not a lot of events happening in the stream. You know what I mean? So, speaking of a cartographer's desk, you know what plot we need, everybody? We need a plot that has just all the random stuff to it. We just need a plot that has all the random stuff that doesn't really matter in the slightest, but could still be good. I wonder if I can squeeze that in this way. Hey, thank you very much. All praise be to the seven, Cheeky Licious. I hope you didn't do that just because of literally what I just said, but thank you very much, Cheeky Licious, for the tier one subscription. Welcome to the sevens. Enjoy your emotes. This is going to look stupid. Don't do this. This is dumb. Don't do this. Dumb, stupid, dumb. Okay. Don't do that. We'll put it somewhere else. Thank you, for Cheeky. Appreciate it. Uh, give me and give me. So, yeah, our pig, our pig skin situation, everybody, not great. But it was a worthy investment. And besides, there might be more pigs out there anyway. Might be more pigs out there. So, boom, boom, boom. One of my favorite things about Wickerbottom, I just appreciate that she allows me to help the team tremendously, still play normally, and then be able to talk to you guys very often as well. I think she's a character that just... That's probably why I've liked her so long and so for so much. Just because she gives me the ability to do that is all. Hot dang. Did this just do this naturally? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I guess, okay. Almost. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's close enough. It's close enough. So, going to have to do some clearing over here. But what we're going to do is uh, just make a plot that has, like, the cartographer's desk. That has the uh, thermal measure, for Pete's sake. Map scroll. Thank you very much. So, that map scroll, everybody, that I just read... Made it, so I got that player's map. So there we go. Now I know where everything is. Nice. Okay. Or not everything, but more than I knew already. Trees over here. Someone's starving to death, by the way. So one, two, one, two. That's probably good enough. Two on each is probably good. What's up, Rita? Ready have a cartographers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I saw that. And that's how I got the map for Pete's sake. Someone made it. So, we might have to take a trip, everybody, to that dragonfly desert.
because we need rocks. For more than one reason. Hey, thank you very much for that, Eden. Thank you very much. Any good meta Maxwell tips? Waxwell? Maxwell, you mean. I've always been a Wendy main, but I've always wanted to get good as her uncle. Um, well, you're going to have to get used to the fact that you do not have a lot of health. Even with armor on, good armor. That health is going to drop on you fast. You got to be well aware of that. Got to be well aware of that. Uh... All right, so that's where we're going to be putting that. We'll put some of the fancy things over there eventually. Who the heck killed the Melbatross? Ender, was that you again? Jesus. Okay. We have 80 rocks. Okay, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Uh, do, 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 do. Ooh! Looky, looky. Nice. So, might as well get this up and rolling too, why don't we? So, if that's going to be there, where should we put the... Where should we put the lure plant farm, everybody? Pretty close to food, probably. Do we have a thingamadoog? I have no idea if we do, actually. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not the cacti, I did just burn that out of nowhere, didn't I? <coughs> Other than that, Eden, you got to know that you're... You are resource central, pretty much. Holy crap. All these Wigfred helmets. <laughs> what the heck? Um, you are resource central. I don't know if you're playing... Oh, shoot. I hit him on accident. I don't know if you're playing solo or you're playing with people. That's a good question. Dragonfly, oh, Dragonfly is a raid boss in Don't Starve Together. She is a seasonal boss in Don't Starve. I don't know if we have a... What's it called? Uh... Don't even know the name of the thing because I never use it. This thing. Think tank. To even make things. Jesus. We got wood galore. What do we need? Uh, manure. Like I said about a million times today. Uh, definitely manure. We need to find those light bulbs. Someone knows where those light bulbs are. We need to find those light bulbs. How do we have a Melbatross beak if we don't have a think tank? That is a fair question, actually. Someone made a boat at some point. Um, by the way, if you're asking... Yeah, that's why I was asking about the think tank. Because I need to make a boat. Believe it or not, I need to make a boat. Am I going to sea today? Maybe. I think I know where... I think I have a good feeling where the Lunar Island is. I really do. Oh. No, but then Ender... Ender is the one that got it, so... Alright, so there's that. And then there's this. Okay. Then plot this guy down here. Actually, we'll put them at the top. So, everybody, we have a lure plant farm going near the crockpots. Just so you know. This is going to be where that really good mod comes into play. The one that I never use. I've seen people use it, though. I think it's called Action Q or something. And any tips for live streaming? Um... Hmm... A lot. It's not easy. It's not as easy as it looks. This whole content creation thing is not as easy as it looks. You got to have charisma. You got to be good at the game. You got to be able to hold yourself on. You got to be on for hours at a time. 
which not a lot of people can do. It's very tiring. Um, you got to be able to recognize that maybe in a game, it's a little oversaturated. Son of a gun, that's not going to be even, and that's going to annoy me a little bit. But you know what? We'll do it. Uh, you got to do it consistently. If you're inconsistent, it's all over. How do these pigs move? What attracted them? I don't know. Usually they wouldn't move once they're distracted. You want my pancake? That's a great name. I always see your name. Always think it's great. What's up, pancake? How you doing? I don't mean this as a blow to the people who I'm playing with. Well, why do I feel like <laughs> every time I've mentioned something today... I feel like it's never gotten done and I end up doing it. Didn't I say about a tree farm three or four times a day? And here I am planting all the saplings. All right, so let's get things rolling, people. Oh my gosh. This is the boring aspect of Don't Starve Sometimes. Actually, the boring part of mega basing and making things big is this when you got to do things like this but it's worth it in the end it will be worth it in the end yeah i think we have dave i think we kind of i think we concluded that last week and unfortunately i think since it took me a little while to start building it today i'm sure we have some folk use some of the pig skin unfortunately so, we're going to have to start from scratch a little bit. Which, eh, we'll do it. I'm doing alright, just hanging, just chilling. Just, just chilling. Getting things done. Getting things done. Yeah, once, once these are tier 3, my friend... You're not going to be the only one chopping, but we'll definitely be uh, relying on you to get us lots and lots and lots of wood. And Tree Guardians. Because when we were streaming months ago, and we had the other potato farm world, we kind of ran out of weapons, didn't we? I remember that being a thing. So let's not run out of weapons this time. I'm just going to use up this torch. Gosh, we got a lot of turf there still. And more drying racks. My goodness gracious. I take back everything saying that I felt like I was doing everything myself. Because you guys are the best. Plenty of drying racks. That's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Especially because we have the Talbert Fortress up now. Nice. Time to find some ruins. We do got to find the ruins. Someone knows where they are. Hawkeye. But Hawkeye's not here right now. So. You know where the wilds are? That's pretty good. All right. We'll take that. Yeah, we definitely... That's one thing that we got to do, too. We got to get manure flowing in the right direction. Because if we can get farms up before summer hits and start... Uh, we need to get potatoes, man. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just calling this potato farmers for no reason. What a fancy plot for non-fancy things. Gonna, I made that entire plot for stupid stuff. Literally. I'm going to use it for n things that don't matter. Carlito, how you doing? How much FPS are you able to get in uh, Don't Starve Together? Only 60. 60 is the max for now. I feel like they should change it, definitely. They should try to uncap it if they could, in my opinion.
If they even can. Who knows? I don't know what it is. If you guys watched me back in the day, too, for whatever reason, I just like having plots that do nothing. <laughs> that just have random stuff in them. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Still garbage? That's okay. No one's gonna be good right away. No one's good right away. I can guarantee you that. Can guarantee you that. What happened to all that wood? Got the sorcerer's staff? Nice. Oh, there it is. Uh, so, boom, a boom, a boom. Koala. So, how is this going to work? If I put you smack dab in the middle, nice, because, sure. Uh, then I put you... Sure. <laughs> I really don't care. I'm just doing this just for the heck of it. And then you... Right here. Got the portrait. So I'm glad that... I'm glad that the drops are working, by the way. Then you... Right here. And then you... Hey, look! I'm gonna build the rainometer. And it's gonna tell me that it's gonna be raining. Thanks. Appreciate it, game. All right, now what do we put on the sides, everybody? What do we put on the sides of this thing? Hmm. What's also very useless, but still a structure? Believe it or not, the tackle receptacle is kind of useful in a way. Uh, hmm. I don't know, but for right now, that's just a plot for no reason. How long am I going to play, Angel? I have no idea. I'm kind of just enjoying just playing the game, not really caring. If I'm totally honest. Like I said, it's kind of a little quiet in chat today, but I'm just enjoying myself just being back streaming. Something different. The moon dial thingy. Yeah, dude. Good call, good call. But I don't think we got moon rock, which just makes it so I got to go get moon rock anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I needed to take a trip to begin with. So let's go take a trip, shall we? Good call, my friend. That's exactly what we're going to do. Then the other side. Now I don't know. Thank you very much, NL Blades, for the Tier 1 sub. Welcome to the Sevens. Enjoy your emotes. How you doing today, friend? How you doing? Didn't get a notification for the spring. Uh, the spring. For the stream? Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I try my best to get notifications out in many places. YouTube, the Discord. The only one I really don't do is Twitter, but, I mean, if you guys haven't noticed, I don't really use Twitter all that much. I'm alright, Blades, like I just said. Kind of just enjoying this. Because it won't last. Trust me. Then we'll, we'll go after bosses plenty later. The relics? The relics could. We just have to make them. As many as you can get. All of them. <laughs> all of them. Thank you again, everybody. Blades, oh my goodness. Thank you very much, Blades, for the thousand biddies as well. Blades, my goodness, so generous. Please, <laughs> don't, don't be doing this just because I said that. That's not what I meant. Every day is different. But thank you so much, Blades. Appreciate it, buddy. Magic Grandpa. <laughs> Great name. You bought Don't Starve Together yesterday? Well, good luck, friend. Good luck. So. 
Yep, we're going to the mosaic biome, everybody. Thank you so much, Blades. For both. For everything. And just for watching, too. Watching is one of the best things anybody can do, ever. So please do not feel bad if you cannot support monetarily. Watching videos, watching the stream, is literally the best thing that you can do to help. I can guarantee you that. Every content creator should tell you that same thing, because it's true. Take it easy. Take it easy, AJ. Thanks for stopping by. Uh-oh. 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 Look away. Look away. Oh, that small bird lived. <laughs> that small bird. Oh, my gosh. That small bird got into the middle of the Talbert Fortress, and then it got... Oh. I'm sorry, small bird. I'm sorry, small bird. What is my least favorite mob? Wow, you are following me. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. I can think of a couple that I don't necessarily appreciate per se. But I don't know if I have a mob that is just so pointless that it shouldn't be in the game. That to me would be like a least favorite mob. One that just... Why? And I don't know if I can think of one. Puffins. Puffins are pointless. They're literally just crow reskins. Puffins. That's my answer. You hate slurpers? No, slurpers are great. This is what we came for. You. Anybody remember off the top of their head how much the uh, moon dial even costs? They're cute, the puffins? I don't really have a great light source right now, do I? Not really. And it's raining, so this is going to go up. Piss off, Charlie. I was already in light by the time I heard you. How do you get points to redeem uh, rewards on the clay page? Um, clicking on their links. Did someone already get that one? Clicking on the links that they supply sometimes. Linking your accounts uh, to the websites that they say to link accounts to. Piss off, Talbert. Um, hmm. Honestly, it's just all on that page. If you're expecting to get crap tons of points, you're not going to be able to. Because it's kind of still new. I don't know if that's why you're asking. Okay, so someone already got that, apparently. Because I don't see it anymore. What's the most annoying mob in Don't Starve Together? Eukis has got to be up there. I already had another. Oh. Got lots of grass geckos in this world. Sorry, folks. Gonna be a little cuckoo right now. Have you found the round meteor? Good question. I don't know the answer to that, actually. That tall bird just killed its kid. And now it wants to kill me. Fine. Kiting pattern of tall birds, everybody. Bait out the hit, get to yourself. Hounds again. Oh, boy. Okay, here's how we're going to deal with hounds this time, everybody. Tall birds. <laughs> we're right by the tall birds. So we might as well just use them against them. Hey, people in base, we might get a fire hound, so be very, very careful. Do we even know where a meteor field is? 
Yes, we do. That scuff on the ground tells us so. This one lone bee. Another reason why we have to use tall birds, everybody. I don't have a good weapon. Get wrecked. Mushroom spores don't have much for use. I would disagree. If you're a mushroom farming, they are very, very good. All right, sweet. So one of the hounds already has aggroed on. That means the rest will follow suit pretty quickly. There we go, beautiful. Just like that. Don't have to deal with the hound wave myself. And I have a trail of tall birds to get rid of now. There are no fire hounds in springs there in summer. That's not true, actually. You can get a fire hound in the wave in spring, guaranteed. It's possible, because hound waves can bleed over into each other very strangely, just like how the Deerclops timer can get all messed up and ridiculous. The hound wave timer things and the hound waves themselves can do some pretty strange stuff. Is it likely? No. That's why I say we might get a fire hound. Well, Krista, I'm very happy to hear that. As long as I help, that's all that matters. How to kite Moose Goose with the walking cane? She always gets hit me even though I'm backing off of time. Just better armor? Uh, no, armor doesn't matter if you're kiting. Um, well, it's either you're not backing off in time or you're just completely misrepresenting and miscalculating a Moose Goose range. She does have pretty decent range. You got to remember that. Where am I going? What am I doing, everybody? I don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's possible, Phoenix. It's absolutely possible. That's what chat's saying, too. Let's try to keep it English. Oh, boy. Let's try to keep it English just so that everybody else knows what you're saying, please. Speaking of Moose Goose. Oh, is this the... Yes, it is. Okay, so before the day is done, we gotta have ourselves a battle over here, everybody. Yeah, this is a set piece. Sometimes Moose Goose spawns don't need to be by ponds. Uh, usually, you can tell it's a Moose Goose spawn with a pond surrounded by berry bushes. That's a Moose Goose spawn. Does that mean Moose Goose is going to spawn there? No, that's a different story. That set piece makes it so there's just a crap ton of moose goose anywhere, which is great. Yeah, before the day is done, we'll kill some we we'll kill some meese. We'll kill some meese geese for sure. Like I said, friend, English. Even though I'm gonna translate your. I'm going to try Google Tray. Yeah, that's 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 what I want to say. Google Translate. You know, I'm going to do it right now. Well, hi, friend. You said hi in a different language. Hello to you. Hopefully you understand me. I don't know. When is, when is this server not full? Whenever anybody decides to leave. Again, that's the only fair way I can do this, folks. This is the only way, fair way I can do this. I would love to play with all of you, but I physically cannot do that. So the only way I can do it is first come, first serve. Right, the re trap. Hmm. Okay. Honestly, though, if people are kind of not knowing what to do right now, if people wanted to just grab a couple of armors, Wickford armors, grab a couple weapons, we can kill some Miskis right now. 
people who are playing with me, if you wanted to do that, let me know. Maybe we'll kill them now. No, Alexandrio. Anybody can play. Anybody who's here in the chat right now. I don't really do sub-only games and things like that. Maybe one day I will, but not for now. I think it's better this way. Is guano better than manure in any way? It sure is. It's actually better at fertilizing... It's actually better at fertilizing crops. And it might honestly be easier to get. WX stuff. Uh, if you guys want to kill moose goose and mosleens and things, like I said, grab some weapons, grab some armor. Let's go do it. With a group like this, when you roll up, she says no chance. All praise be to the seven, another worshiper walks among us. Fierce, fierce deities. Nope, I said that wrong. You know what? I'm just gonna call you fierce. How you doing today? Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Enjoy your emotes. Welcome to the sevens. Thank you for your support. Appreciate it. All right, problem. Where are all our living logs? We have to have them because I've saw many tree guardians today. Thank you very much, everybody, for the support. Just watching again. Watching is very important as well. Do not underestimate that. People tell me all the time, you know, they're sorry that they can't support. Don't be sorry, please. Especially this day and age. You can make a guano farm, absolutely, but the problem is guano can't be used as a substitute to make farms. If it could, my gosh, farms would be even better than they already are. Is this really all the living logs that we have? Uh-oh. All right. So if people are coming to fight, just uh, right. That's gonna be a problem. Never mind. No, it's not. Do we know where Chester is? All right, thanks, game, for not socketing in the gym. If you're ready, I'll be right there. One second, one second. Beef low milk mod? Oh, yeah, that was a pretty good mod. That was a good mod. All right, so I want these... I want this here, but I want it there, probably. Oh, praise be to the seven. Another worshiper walks among us. Alexandrio, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, my dude. Appreciate it, my friend. Hope you're doing well today. Stay safe. Being well. Thanks for watching today. I just reminded myself of Chester because we have all those blue gems. We can make them into an ice Chester. All right, but let's go kill this moose goose. I'm heading there now. You guys want to join me? Follow me. Dark Purple Heart, how you doing? Yeah, Doom Boy couldn't get on today. Not this time. Sparkly. Again, I think I said it earlier, might stream on Thursday, but I can't guarantee that. But definitely Friday.
What are my favorite mods? Believe it or not, some of my favorite mods are not even like add-on mods. They're just UI mods or uh, I don't even know what to call them, to be honest. <coughs> User-friendly mods, let's call them. Where is that? That's over here. But if I had to choose, my favorite modded character is probably Wemmy, followed by Dronk. And uh, favorite mod, just in general, add-on-wise... Hmm. Creeps in the deeps, maybe? Well, that's a pretty good one. Aaron the Order, how you doing? All right, time to whack a baby geese, everybody. <laughs> Look away. Whack. Never mind. Whack you. Never mind. Whack you. All right. Here's the problem. Actually, it's not a problem. It's a great problem to have. Look at this. Oh, where's where's the third one? Where's mama number three? I don't know. All right, but we only have two mamas, apparently. So, here we go, everybody. One, two, three. It's going to be very hard to show you guys the kiting pattern because, well, we're playing with multiple people. You know what? Screw the kiting pattern. So, here's the deal. Since I'm not going to be able to show you the kiting pattern, Mama Moose, who got the final hit. Someone got the final hits. Uh, Mama Moose is a single target attacker. Meaning, what we just did right there is the best way to handle her. She can only hit one of us. One of us every hit. That's it. And whoever gets the final blow, which is none of us, apparently. Okay, so DM got the final blow. Is the one that the Mosslings go after. If you didn't know that. That's how that works. Unless, of course, you hit them as I have. And sometimes they like to strike themselves with lightning. <laughs> it happens. It happens. But yes, with Mama Moose being a single target attacker, dogpiling her is the best idea that you have. Apparently, I couldn't swing. I was just standing there like an idiot. <coughs> dogpiling her like this is the best strategy that you have. Otherwise, maybe one of these, maybe if there's another moose somewhere, I'll show how to just do it that way. This Kaiden Her can be quite annoying, actually. You are right. Holy crap. But here's the thing. When you have this set piece... When you have this set piece... Some of the babies get annoyed with you, even when it's not their mom. When it's not their mom, they get mad at you. It's just chaos. It's just nonsense. Nonsensical chaos, everybody. It's funny, though. Come on, why am I swinging? This is gonna be pretty good for some, uh. thingamadoogs. Some foodies. <laughs> An absolute war that they stood no chance against. Yeah, Moose Goose is the second easiest boss in the game. By far. Sorry I wasn't able to totally show it off, but I've killed Moose Goose how many times? And I have a video on her anyway. So I gave you the big thing, which was she's a single target attacker, so dogpiler. Dogpiler. Otherwise, you want to get maybe three hits yourself to be safe if you got a speed... You can probably get a fourth. Maybe we'll go on another moose hunt. And I'll just show you guys quickly how to do it solo. And then we can dogpile her again. The Varg? No. The easiest, easiest boss in the game is by far Antlion. Antlion needs a rework. <coughs> With two players too? Two players you... With two players, she'll absolutely alternate between you two. Which, you know, can be a problem, maybe. But with... As soon as you get three players, four players, then it really just becomes... Uh, she stands no chance. <laughs> Literally no chance. When we kill Antlion, probably Thursday, if we stream Thursday, Friday... Ooh, hold up. Let's kill this tree guardian. Uh, this tree guardian really blended in right there. My goodness. Come on. <laughs> Apparently, I couldn't hit him. 
Tree Guardians too, everybody. Single target attackers. Single target attackers. Look at that. Jesus. Jesus. That's why sometimes playing with 10 people <laughs> gets me a little, uh, not used to it. Makes the game a little too easy. But it's still fun. Yeah, we'll share a map when we get back home. Dragonfly? We could kill Dragonfly. I don't know. I still think we need to do things in base. We got eight days left until summer is here. We got a little more preparation to do, I think. By the way, I'm not running back home. I'm running to see if Musku spawned over here, which she didn't. She did not. Oh, no, no, she did, but. Oh. I see. Interesting. So, the Mosling spawned, ate the berry bushes, <laughs> spawned gobblers that the pig guardian then went after. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I'm just doing this because I want to show you how to fight uh, her a little bit solo first. Is she coming after me? No, she went at the frog. Come after me. You after me? Yeah, you are. All right, so, bait out hit, go in, one, two, three, and then get out of there. But sometimes it's spring, so it is laggy. It is laggy. Then, when she does that move, that, what are you doing? When she does that move, she's disarming you. But, if you just hold spacebar, it doesn't matter. If you hold spacebar, you catch your thing right in midair. So, she can't really disarm you either. It's not that big of a deal. But, that's how you kite ant line, ant line. That's how you kite moose goose, everybody. That's how you kite moose goose. Easy peasy. Now, if anybody wants to fight her with me, be my guest. I just wanted to show people how to kite moose goose. Oh, I didn't realize there was actually three of you here. I thought it was only me and Wendy. Disarmed. Oh, you picked up my weapon. Oh. <laughs> uh. And down goes another one. Who got the final blow? Wasn't me. And come on, game. You're making me waste time. Gosh darn it, you struck yourself again. There goes the loot. <coughs> there goes the loot. Man, that guy went far. Dang it. Wasn't thinking it was going to go that far. Some good old Moose Goose hunt, everybody. Just quit spinning away from me. Dodge and weave. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Let's bring it all home. There's another bloody pig. Different colored baby goose mean anything? No. Can't say I've ever seen that. It might have just been weird lighting with them getting struck by lightning. That tree didn't guard much. Fair point. What's my favorite thing about Don't Starve? At this point in my Don't Starve career, just playing with people. It is fun kind of just to play the game to play the game. It's been a while since I've just done this. Gone through the seasons, done things. I can't say I have, like, a favorite one thing about it. Another moose? Well, I kind of went home, friend. Especially because in a couple days, going to be a full moon. We got to get this pig farm up and rolling. The pig loot that we get from that pig farm is automatically going into the pig farm. We're investing our investment. Can you beat Don't Starve Together yet? No, there's no ending. My guess is, if it ever even happens, the, um, 
the war between the moon and Charlie, that will be the end of this game. I mean, I don't mean the end of this game. <laughs> it will lead to an ending of this game. We need, oh yeah, then we need to get farms up. We haven't even got farms up. Gosh, who knows where the wilds are? We need to get light bulbs and we need to make bloody manure. <laughs> Woody. Woody's happy with his trees, everybody. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Know what we don't have over here, though? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Gold, gold, gold. Where's gold? Uh, run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> we don't have one of these. We don't have one of these over there. Does regular Don't Starve have an ending? Yes, technically it does. Technically it does. Ooh, okay. That's better. Feeling better. All right, so we're getting light bulbs. Then we need to feed them to a big... We need to get manure for days. And then we need to actually start potato farming for Pete's sake. Down feathers, not bad. Do I normally build pig farms in my first spring or earlier? Uh, if I could, personally, I would like them earlier. I've been uh, I've been lagging behind a little bit with pick farms lately <laughs> in multiple playthroughs. I'm not even sure if my map is the best map, friend. There might be other there might be uh, better people with better maps. But yeah, if we have a if we have a jet feather, I gotta make a pencil, then I'll make a map. Oh, jet feathers, do we have you? Doesn't look like it. So we gotta kill a crow. How much longer do I plan on streaming the day? I don't know. Probably not much longer. But then again, I'm feeling all right. We'll definitely end before summer. So we got seven days left. Maybe when there's like four days left until summer's here. Because I don't want to join back next time and automatically be in um, summer. Not for us. Mostly for other people. That wouldn't be very nice for them to join, be new to the game, join and have it be summer. Yeah, that'd be rough. Dang, okay, we don't have what I'm looking for. You're going Ball City? All right, that might be the next big priority that we should get done before we call it quits today, though. Is that... Got some tree guardians coming already. Nice, nice, nice. I'm just checking up on things, if you didn't notice. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead. Oh, praise be to the seven. Another worshiper walks among us. Nay, or I don't, I'm so sorry. How do you say your name? Nate, Nateswa, Nateswa, Nateswa. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say it. Oh gosh, it's very laggy over here. Ready to have that type of recipe. Son of a gun. Nate sauce, is that how you say it? Okay, Nate sauce. I'm trying to make it all fancy. And I didn't need to make it all fancy. Well, thank you very much, Nate sauce. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching today. Enjoy your emotes. Welcome to the sevens. Do, 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 do. So we have a koala fint over here, huh? Interesting. You 
You know what? It's centered, so I'll leave it. <laughs> Definitely not what I was anticipating, but we'll leave it. Four manure right there. What's the plan for tomorrow on West Wednesday? Oh, well, it should be winter, right? Right, because we dealt with bergers all day long. Um, we haven't done much ruins, have we? So maybe we'll do some ruins things. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you. What was I going to do? Ah, speaking of birds, yeah, we should kill some tall birds before we leave today, too. Pig farm we can't do until day 51. Yeah, I'll come uh, clear some tall birds as well, actually. Why day 51? Uh, where pigs? Full moon. Hey, Crow, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. Drop a feather. You suck. Full moon so that the pigs turn into the were pigs, and then we kill the were pigs to get us better loot. Gotta increase morale. Yeah, I'm coming, Phoenix. I just gotta drop some things off. Gosh, we got nightmare fuel for days. Now, we just need to live in logs. We get to live in logs. My golly. Better on the developers? Debatable if it's better. It only, the only reason why it can maybe be considered better is just because you don't have to be the one to do everything with it. All right. I, I, yeah, you know what? Where is Jester? <laughs> we should probably find him. Because he would probably come in mighty handy right now. You know what else we don't have by the Talbert Fortress, though? Lightning Rod. The only way for a tall bird nest to be completely depleted from the world is for it to burn. So, let's make sure that doesn't happen. Hey, anybody got? Never mind. It's fine, Jarned. I got one. I made one right now. Thinking about it as I was going to run over there. Um, never mind. I'm going to need that. All praise be to the seven. Cow Pow, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the sevens. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate it. How you doing today, Cow Pow? Uh, what was I going to do again, everybody? I might have to do that, even though I don't want to. Hey, we got extra living logs. Thanks for feeding me.
Thank you. Just gonna need one extra, everybody, because I'm not gonna have the means of killing all the tall birds with the weapons that I do have. Using pigs to gather resources? Oh, absolutely. It's a great idea. All right. Screw you too, I guess. What do you mean we're missing pigs? Did someone kill them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're all here. Are you saying because there's not a lot of pigs? Yes, that I agree with. That's why I said all the pig loot that we get from this pig farm, this first pig farm, and then one more day, has to go right back into the pig farm to make it more efficient. What do I think of the joint inventory? I think it's pretty great. It's going to take a while to get used to, for sure. Still, I don't know if I'm 100% used to it. But I do like it. Hello, tall birds. I have come to murder you. So, now you're seeing a tall bird fortress in action, everybody. Uh, we cleared it. We walled it up. And now we can fight them mano y mano. All right, Nicole, thanks for playing, buddy. Take it easy. Have a good rest of your day. Why is the fence area in the pig farm so huge? Because it's going to be a big pig farm once it's all said and done. Big time pig farm. Okay. Okay, game. Sure. Sure. Hey, thank you very much. Biddies. Blake, thank you very much for the biddies. Take it easy, Blake. Have a good rest of your day. We'll see you next time, buddy. Stay safe out there, dude. Do, 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 do. Good. Good stuff, everybody. Good stuff. Every tall burn is two big meat and, and an egg. That one I ran into. That one I ran into. Lots of food. What's my favorite game of all time? Uh, favorite just single game is probably The Witcher 3. Favorite franchises would be Halo, Borderlands, <coughs> Sly Cooper, Spyro. I was thinking today, though. My favorite games ever would have to probably be a toss-up between Borderlands 2 and The Witcher 3. Come on, Talbert. Come to me. He's far away. Come to me. Come to me. Come, come. Yeah, there we go. Because I have played an absolute crap ton of Borderlands 2. On the Xbox 360 alone, I have over 3,000 hours of Borderlands 2. And I have played that game on the PlayStation. I have played it on the PC. And then I played it when they repackaged them as the Handsome Jack Collection. <laughs> I have played so much Borderlands 2, man. Too much Borderlands 2. Ow. Sometimes that's going to happen when you have to get their aggro. Have I played the remastered Spiral games? Yes, I didn't play all of them. I thought you were going to die. I didn't play all of them. But yes, I have played them. 
Borderlands Addict, I... Borderlands 2 is... By far and away, the greatest looter shooter ever made. And then on top of that, it actually has a good story for a looter shooter. Unlike another game that we know. Dark Purple Heart, thank you very much for the 100 biddies, Dark Purple Heart. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for chilling. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. All right. Good news is we'll be able to uh, do this farm one more time before summer. Now, you might be thinking... Can you do this farm, or might be asking, can you do this farm in summer? Yes, but you better make sure that you have a fling covering all of these uh, nests. Because yes, wildfires affect them. Yeah. As good as the Talbert Fortress is, and how you can do it all year round, if it is not prepared for spring or summer, you're screwed. Remember that. Did I hear about the new Borderlands 3 DLC? I have. I haven't played a single DLC of Borderlands 3 yet. Because here's my honest critique of Borderlands 3. It sucks. But now that all the DLC is out, who did move all the loot here? Why'd we do that? What's the... Why? <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Because like I said earlier, sometimes the loot, uh, the bait gets very, very... Weird with these pigs. Hmm. Oh, yeah, as I was saying. Borderlands 3. Um, now that all the DLC will be out next month. At least for now. Because Borderlands 2, that was the thing about Borderlands 2 as well. <laughs> Once they finish the paid DLC expansions, they released expansion after expansion after expansion over and over again. That game never died. And that was a good thing, because they kept nailing it. Uh, I'll probably replay it. I'll probably just start from the beginning again. It's possible, Rita. If we have the time to do that, you are right. Yeah, Creeper, thanks for asking. Have I tried Borderlands VR? Nah, I'm not a huge VR guy. Who's, you're going to die right now. You know that, right? Was that on purpose? I'm going to assume that was on purpose. Favorite character on Borderlands? Maya, by far. Holy crap, why are you going after me? What did I do? Oh, I am insane. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, it was my incompetence. Not realizing that I was insane. Pfft, asking why they're coming after me. Idiot. Maya is my favorite... Um, you just say character. My favorite Vault Hunter is Maya. My favorite character... That's a tough one. There's a lot of good old characters in Borderlands. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> so much meat. Oh, so much meat for the mouth, everybody. Mr. Torque. Mr. Torque's pretty good. You know what the best... Now we're talking about Borderlands. You know what the best DLC for any game ever was, probably? Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, Borderlands 2. That DLC is... So good. My gosh, now I need to play Borderlands 2. <laughs> now I need to play Borderlands 2, everybody. My goodness, I'm talking about it. Assault on Dragon Keep is unbelievable. That said... The thing about The Witcher 3 is they have a DLC in that game that takes over 40 hours casually to beat. That is longer than some AAA title games. That's the, just Witcher 3 for you. 
That's just how amazing CD Projekt Red is. I think I might have given people all the jerky when I meant to put it inside the fridge, so my bad. We need to fix this area too, by the way. This is atrocious over here. Playing with viewer stream? You mean Borderlands? Borderlands with viewers? I don't know. Why am I making more? That was dumb of me. I didn't need to make more. Hmm. Yeah, never mind. I think we'll do it like this. Is this not even? No, it is even. That's even. The fire pit's not. Okay, so this is what we're doing here with the eggs. To save them from the vultures. Did, don't you fence them in when they're asleep? No, we just, we fenced what we should have done, which we didn't actually do. Jarn had to kill more, I think. Um, <clears throat> what you should do to be as efficient as possible with that. As soon as they are dead, you killed them in one way or another. They're all dead. Start walling them off immediately. Just wall off the nests even when they're not there. Hey, uh, what was I just about the... Manure, right. How's that manure situation coming along? Really, that makes meatballs? My bad, that's not what I wanted to make. So, once again, we didn't actually do it, did we? <laughs> we didn't actually uh, get the thing up and rolling. Hey, it's a pig farm tonight, everybody, if you want to join in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, yeah, we should prob we should invest in teeth traps. Good points. They won't stay there for now, but we'll keep them there for now, I guess. I just said they won't stay. They can stay there for now. They won't stay there forever. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, I wasn't trying to make turkey dinner. I was trying to make something else. These two back here might be a problem. Who keeps moving the rot? Seriously, it's so freaking annoying. Because now you probably ruin this. Because now they're going to be attracted to the seeds. Whoever you are, I shall strangle you in your sleep. Are vultures eating them? No, because they're stacking. <laughs> they're stacking. Vultures don't stack things, last I checked. Taubers respawn in how many days? Two and a half ish. Rot did, does definitely not stack by itself. Take this from the person who literally just made a pig farm in his playthrough. And the rot stays exactly where you put it. I doing dogger? Is it dogger? You want to be dodger? No, you put a D in there. Dogger. Does powder cake work for the pig farm like turkey farm? Sure does, JD. Sure does. We're getting into the adventure mode. You're right, friend. So, here's what's going to happen. 
These guys are about to turn into a were pig, just like that. Now, the problem with doing it this way is that once you hit them, they don't aggro on the food anymore. They aggro onto you for some time, like that. They aggro onto you, and then that stuff happens. So unfortunately, the best way to do this sometimes is to just literally tank them. It's not the most ideal thing, but it works. And just like that, everybody, that's a pig farm. Hey, those pig butts, they need to be invested, so please do not use them for anything else. <clears throat> do not use those pig butts for anything else. But there we go, pig farm down. All right, enough with this loot nonsense, this bait nonsense. Getting tired of it. Thank you, friend. Not going to be a lot, but, you know, for every couple of houses we get, the next farm's going to be better. They respawn fast, and we don't even have light bulbs, Cheeky. How do you quick drop like that? Well, now it's in the game. Uh, shift click. Shift click now. There used to be a mod that lets you do it. Now that mod doesn't matter anymore. Also, Cheeky, I can make another house anyway. Do, 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 do. Why? There we go. Nice. <laughs> One hut. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. That's what I like to freaking see. That's four more huts coming our way. Beautiful. Someone said they had 100 light bulbs. Okay. Let's see if I can get away with this. <clears throat> hey, how much monster meat do we have? Let's get this manure, plant a couple things, and then probably wrap it up. Because, like I said, four more days until uh, summer is here. Can I do another Wiper playthrough? Maybe one day, friend. I take things one day at a time, folks. One day at a time. Good, good, good. Oh, finally caught up to a stream and we're going to be ending soon? Oh, I'm sorry, friend. Hounds. Hounds are coming. Watch yourselves, everybody. Have we made a spider farm in the world yet? I don't think so. Honestly, we haven't had a lot of Webers. I haven't seen a lot of Webers. Guys, for the most part, I'm just going to say this. Monday streams are probably going to be like this. Chill, not doing too much, kind of just relaxing. I should not be here right now, by the way. I do not want hounds spawning here because they're going to mess things up. And this is exactly why this teeth uh, trap area is not going to stay here. 
We gotta move this tea trap area far away from everything else. Far from base. I have no idea what that sound is. Thank you, Dark Side, for the tier two sub. My goodness gracious, all praise be to the seven. Thank you very much, Dark Side 4152 for the tier two subscription. My goodness, thank you very much. A tier two seven, everybody. Tier two seven. How you doing today, my friend? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did we make a mushroom farm yet? No, we have not. We have not. Okay, so a couple more pigs, everybody. A couple more pigs. Got this, got this, got this. Speaking of pigs, time to do the manure thing and then call it quits for the day. Over here, Jarned. There's a couple of them for you. By the pig farm. Who died? DM died. Did I say Monday? Okay. Like I said, today feels like a Monday. Maybe I, I'll say Tuesdays. Tuesdays are going to feel like this, probably. For the most part. Ow. You never know. Streams are always different. That's about the thing about streams, too. Want to go boating? Well, we're ending soon, so I don't know if you want to go out boating and then come back and then realize you're not on land. So. People who are playing right now, I would uh, recommend you probably start to get things in order. Because we're going to be ending soon. Of course, Dark Side. Thank you. Thank you. I truly mean it. Very generous. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry, streams have been inconsistent, everybody, but that won't last for long. What was that about, booted off? What happens if we get booted off on a boat? No, you'll spawn on the boat, Ender. I'm just saying. I, I just don't know how you would feel like if you come back next time and then you're on a boat. You're like, uh-oh. All right. Something we should have done a long time ago, everybody. A long, long time ago. The best manure farm in this game. Oh, crap. You're going to be... <sighs> okay. Problem. How do I do this without... There we go. He's on it now. Okay. I was thinking if it was a seed, fine. If it was the rot, that wasn't going to be fine. But we're good. We're good. We're good. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. We're good. All right. Best manure farm in the game, everybody. Right here. Light bulbs, four monster meats, a pig. Lay it down, get them into a were pig, they get all the stuff for you. Nice. Very, very nice. Be careful though. As soon as he gets to nothing more to eat, he's coming right for you. And here it comes. Never mind. Nope. Screw you. Come on. The lag's going to get me. Never mind. We're good. The amount of fireflies or the flies over that pile. Yeah, yeah. All right. Good, good, good. We didn't get as many farms as I was hoping we would get, but that's okay. I think just the running gag is that we're trying to be potato farmers, 
and we can't do it. Finish searching the ruins? Well done. Ruins runs. Always good. We'll be doing ruins runs uh, next time. Probably. Re reliable meat early game? Hunts. Koalas. All right. Better than nothing. <coughs> Sorry about that. Came out of nowhere. Space bar simulator, you know it. That was probably really loud. My sneezes are usually ridiculous. So much though that that one even hurt a little bit. <clears throat> Don't worry, we're good. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. The leafy meat's ready to go. All right, everybody who's playing, are we are we home? Because I think we got to wrap it up. We're already a day behind. <clears throat> I'll do a beer stretch in a second, friend. Three farms. <laughs> Three farms. Oh, good stuff. We'll deal with that later. Mo's up, people are lost. That's to be the biggest base you've ever seen. <laughs> We're not even halfway done. They're not even halfway done. And I have plans for all the in-between spots, too. Farms next to traps? No, those traps aren't going to stay there. We ready? That was a good day. How long was that? Oh, wow. That was almost a four-hour stream. I'll take it. I kind of wanted to push myself a little bit today, even though it was a little bit on the quiet end, uh, chat-wise and everything. Kind of wanted to push myself today, just to get uh, used to things again. So... All right, are we good? Next time is summer, everybody. Next time, summer. Yes, first order of business. We got to make sure we have desert goggles so we can get the heck out of here and navigate our own base. All right, I think we're good. I see people on the map. People are coming home. Otherwise, everyone else is pretty close to base. So I think we're doing well. All right, good, good, good. No problem. Thanks, everyone, for watching. <clears throat> Thank you again all for watching. And, you know, I wasn't even at my best today either. I don't know what it is. Today just feels like a Monday. It just feels like a Monday. So I'm kind of chilling like a Monday. Just relaxed. Just bleh doing stuff but thank you everybody for a lovely just chunk of stream thanks for all the support all the bits all the follows all the subscriptions all the chatting all the playing all the things we got done today appreciate it uh this will be up on youtube a little longer one a little longer one close to four hours so uh gonna take a little while for me to get it up on the tubes but it will be there and i'll see you guys definitely friday maybe thursday i kind of like the idea of streaming this thursday for whatever reason so I would say 95% chance. All praise be to the seven. Thank you very much, Combat Marshmallow. <laughs> Always a great name. Good to see you, Combat. Thanks for playing as well. For the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, something I was going off on, something about Thursday. Chances are Thursday. If you're in the Discord, you'll see that I'm going live. Blah, 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 all that stuff. But thank you so much, everybody. Enjoy your Tuesdays that feel like a Mondays. I'm always in the Discord anyway, especially on days like today, because uh, I'm done. Once I'm done streaming... 
I'm done for the day. So I'll be chatting around. I'll be chilling. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.